I don't want to go on a rant here. What the hell does rant mean? Right. Episode 28. I'm actually excited for this one. Because I have a uh, present right to my... I don't know if you... Uh, there was three sizes of what you got. Did you get the medium size? I got the large size, baby. Because it's a fucking big box. So I went large. I accidentally ordered two of them and then had to email them. Be like, no, no, I only want one. I only want one. And they actually canceled it? Yeah. That's nice. So today is Monday the 23rd. But we're going to upload this on my birthday, which is the 24th. I thought about just trying to go through the whole episode pretending it's tomorrow. But for such a piece of shit, I don't like like little small lies. Plus, I'm going to be like, oh, look at Riddle. And they're going to be like, that doesn't sound like a Tuesday. <laughs> we so DVR'd it. And didn't we're, doing, uh, we're doing on this day for the 23rd and the 24th. Uh, but we're recording Monday night. so It's a double whammy. You can. I haven't even opened up this Google Doc yet. You can go over our usual death while I get this uh, this box ready. All right, I'm so our unusual excited. death last week. I'm gonna say you don't fucking remember it, do you? It um, was, <sighs> it was kind of cool though. Yeah, I, I never, I literally oh, never I did. remember. Uh, it was in uh, January of 2011. Jose Luis Ochoa uh, was stabbed in the leg at a cockfight by a oh, okay, rooster yeah, yeah. with a knife strapped to its leg. All right. Yes. I mean, that's pretty kind of badass, don't you think? Yeah. So found a couple articles on it and he got stabbed in the calf and bled out. Mm, yeah. Cause apparently it like severed an artery. It took he like waited in the about, calf? Right in the no, calf. There was an artery in the artery. calf. Hmm. Interesting. And he waited a couple hours before he went to the hospital. Oh, of course he did. <laughs> well, because you know the police broke up said cockfight and everybody fled. <laughs> So he was declared dead in a hospital when he arrived uh, two hours after being injured. The coroner's report said he suffered an accidental sharp force injury to his right calf. Sharp the, uh, force. Police said that they found other dead roosters and materials suggesting that cockfighting was found at the location, but no yeah. arrests were made since everybody fled. Mr. Ochoa regularly was a participant in the organized cockfights, had already been fined uh, $370 that year for owning or training animals for fighting. Is that 370 pesos or did that? It was California. So it was definitely. Oh, right. Yeah. That was, that was unintentionally very racist. I I don't even think that was unintentionally racist. I think you just, I I heard Ochoa and I just uh, forgot it was not in Mexico. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So it says that the, uh, the Bakersfield Californian reported that the incident occurred during a cockfight in which the birds are strapped with razor-like knives to fight each other to their death. Why do the birds need knives? Why don't they just peck each other? It probably makes it. I wonder if it, that probably makes it more deadly and quicker. You're sitting there for like hours. One cock won't go down. <laughs> uh, the police said that I've never seen this type of incident. Uh, people who have been known to bleed out from those injuries if medical attention is not obtained immediately. Dude did bleed out because he waited two plus hours. Yeah, that's the first like calf bleed out I've ever heard. Usually you cut, like uh, like the femoral artery. Fucking Trinity from fucking Dexter would slice your thigh, bleed out in seconds. Also, uh, so this was in January of 2011. The article ends with just last month, which means December of 2010, the Daily Mail reported that a rooster slashed his owner's throat in India. The rooster attacked after its owner forced it into a fighting ring. So it forced it wow. into a cockfighting ring, and the rooster's like, fuck you, I'm going to end you, and slash the guy's throat. That's, That's kind of awesome. Ultimate fatality. Nice. All right. Sorry, Mr. Ochoa, but look at this fucking box. Oh, that is huge. That's worth the money. So I, I'm I'm going to try and just like pull stuff out. <laughs> Whip it out, baby. Whip it out. Well, Amar. Is it just like seven pounds of paper and there's nothing in it? Yep. All right. So here we go. All right. This is a Pringles can. I'm going to go with that. Ooh. So we got bacon flavored Pringles. Off to a hot start. I like that. I like That's it. good. Bacon flavored Pringles. That could either taste really well or just be. It's crazy. not in English, so. Uh, and this is the guy from TikTok. Who is it? You want to shout it out? I looked it up, but I forgot who it was. Uh, it was Willy Wacky Snacks? Like yeah, this is a this is a home run birthday gift. I tried right. to um, 
DM them to be like, hey, can you make a TikTok with his order? But they don't follow me and they only oh yeah allow yeah. messages if you follow. But I didn't want to put a comment on their page. Yeah, I guess then I because saw then you would have saw it and you would have known. All right, let's see what's next. Ruffles queso. Ooh, Ooh, I like that. That sounds good. Tremios. So I'm guessing that's some Latin American country. I wish it gave you like an inventory of everything that you got and where it's from. That would be kind of cool. All right, let's see. What do we got? Tostinos. Uh oh, this one I have to send to you. Extra flaming hot. I, I don't think I can. I don't think I can handle that. My asshole's burning just thinking of that. Yeah, fucking destroyed. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> I don't even want to like tempt it because I know I will just. I feel like just die. smelling it. My eyes would start watering. All right, fill some cans. Let's get some more chips out though. What is this? This is heavy. Holy crap! Yes, quick mix. Is this like cereal? This looks kind of like a version of Cocoa Puff, but like Nesquik. This is interesting. Feel the little balls. He feels the little balls. So that is a huge fucking box of this, and it's another different language. So I like. I'm like how this is all not American stuff. All right, what is this? Ooh, this is bubble wrapped by itself. Ooh, maybe it's glass. Lifesavers. What is it? A lifesaver's scented candle. Well, that's kind of cool. Wow, a that's cherry kinda... lifesaver. That's that's a good flavor. I don't like candles, but nah, I might have to now. Just don't burn the house down. That actually smells pretty good. Does it smell like a cherry lifesaver? It smells like the candle store. I wonder if you... Ooh, all right. I saw this Canada Dry piss. That I looks. Think. That it actually is. looks like urine. Yeah, green tea. I'm not a tea guy. I'm actually drinking 100... green tea currently, but it does not look like the urine that you're having. 108 milligrams of antioxidants. Maybe I'll just chug it and try to get some nutrients in there. It's healthy for you. All right, but that, that honestly looked like a bottle of urine. Yeah. What is this? Ooh, Warheads watermelon cotton candy. Ooh. I don't think I don't even know the last time I ate cotton candy. So that's I don't know the last time I had a warhead. That too. I like that. That's cool. Watermelon's a good flavor. Can't go wrong with watermelon. Watermelon. What is this? Sparkling Chupa Chups. Zero sugar mm -hmm. strawberry flavor. What's a Chupa Chup? Chupa Chups. Sparkling. Zero sugar, so that's always good. I don't know. A Chupa. I'm going to call it a Fupa. There's still like so much more in here. So Chupa Chups. A uh, Spanish brand of lollipop. And that's sparkling water. All right. A Milka Moose. Looks like a chocolate. I don't even know how to describe this. A chocolate fucking cookie. Little mini cake. That looks good. All right. A couple more cans. What do we got in here? Miranda Dami. I don't know. This doesn't even say what flavor this is. What the hell? All right. You're going to have to help me out on this one. Why am I getting so much fucking like static feedback? That's a tamarind flavor soda. A tamarind? Oh, the hell's that? Oh, that's not going to be good. I don't think. Am I coming through with static? <laughs> you don't hear anything? Nope. Weird. It's just my microphone. Hold on. I'm going to. All right. What else we got in here? That, uh, that drink is from Vietnam, it looks like. Ooh, we got m ms but it looks like they're... This is going to come off racist. This is either Chinese or Japanese. I think Chinese, but I don't know. But that's... Uh, I bet, I'm bet i sure these are probably the ex exact same, but... Yeah, they're probably made with spiders or something. I love the fucking picture of him just lounging in the bowl with like a remote control. All right, ooh, some candy bars I'm pulling out. What do we got? Oh, yeah. I love munch nuts. Let's fucking go. <laughs> what is a munch it, nut? It says wow and yum on it. That actually looks pretty good. It looks like a like a wafer bar with nuts in it. Uh and it's got it's in English, so I don't know if I could be here all day if I'm trying to figure out where they're all from. I'm trying to look it up. Oh, it says 
P.O. Bag New Delhi. Interesting. And then what is this? Another Milka, a Choco Paws. Nice packaging. I like You're that. You're a Choco Head. Choco Paws. I'm going to pause this podcast and take a Choco break. So that actually looks pretty good, too. So far, the only thing that I like would just am not interested at all is the fucking piss tea and then maybe that sparkling water. Everything else has been like, oh, and I, I'm not going to be able to eat the flaming hot. So right, the, uh, the, the Choco Paws is like a chocolate biscuit. It's one of the most, it's German and it's one of the most demandable products. Really? Yeah. All right. Here's a, here's a can. Let's see what this is. Uh oh. I was never going to buy this because it's flaming hot, but this I'll, I'll, I'll give a, a shot. Is that it's, Mountain the Mountain Dew? it's the Mountain Dew Flaming Hot. That's going to, uh, that's going to hurt. I'm so scared to try this. You should uh, try it tonight. It is. It's actually not warm, which is weird. So it's do with a blast of heat and citrus. I, I, how do you make a drink hot? And then how do you make you it spicy? Like what are they? Are they putting like fucking paprika and shit in it? I mean, it's Ooh. cayenne in it. Ooh, look at this! Is this fucking uh, Lay's flavor? Is this look like a matcha? Ooh, it's, it's not in. It's either pistachio or matcha. That actually, is, I love this packaging. That could nice actually color. taste good. That's pretty cool. Lay's, but in like a Pringles type can. This is uh, I'm gonna get spoiled with all this stuff. This is fucking cool. Right, Hashtag else? for the pod. Ooh. Yeah, Kit Kat Chunky. I like that. Is that your and pet name for your hookers? Kit Kat Chunky? They're, they're more, way more than Chunky. I, I made a joke to somebody. They were like, what kind of girls are you into? And I made a joke like, you should see my roster. It's like a fucking zoo. A whale, a gorilla, an <laughs> elephant. They're all just fucking ginormous. All right. uh, There's like still more in here. Brought back to the dorm that one time. Oh, God. Ooh, what is this? What the fuck is this? Oh, are these like little, like mints? Little do you put mints? in your drink, or do you just eat them? Because there's a is there like an Alka Seltzer tab? Like what? That's is what that? I was. I, I thought it was like Fun Dip or something for a second, but like I don't know. It's too bad what I don't. Do you speak. do with it? God damn it! I don't speak Japanese. For the ones that you don't understand, you should take like a video of them and tag the people, tag those guys, and TikTok and like, hey, can you tell me what this is? Do you think they even know? They're just like, hey, it looks cool. I, I bet it, you he does. I would. It looks like it implies you put it in like a water. glass and it like. Yeah. All right. What is this? This is oh, Japanese Skittles. Okay. Yeah, I'm into that. That's cool. I like that. My whole desk is just food. When isn't it? Takis Blue Heat. Blue Heat. Hot chili pepper, artificially flavored tortilla chips. So you're trying to kill me. Oh, yeah. That's going to be spicy. Uh, we got it's hot still... chili pepper, baby. Ooh, more oh, Skittles. Hot, actually, hot chili pepper and lime. Oh, all right. Nice, refreshing lime. So <laughs> more Japanese Skittles, but they're in a different type of packaging. It looks so, like gum. Let's see. My Japanese is a little rusty, but they have uh, five flavors. You could... Uh, Take a guess at what those are. Any Japanese listeners out there? I don't think we've hit Japan yet. I haven't checked our demos in a while. Let me uh, pause this for a second. Talk amongst, your, talk amongst yourselves. Let's see. Maybe Dashboard. it could be the Philippines. Um, Most like of the Chinese Skittle flavors are mango, grape, apple, peach, and orange. All right. Which one's the grape? Because I don't want to eat that. Probably the dark looking one. That's racist. Oh, oh here we go. Audience. Uh, we had Russia, right? Before? Yeah. Or is that new? Yeah. No, actually, United no. Russia might be new. United I States, believe. Australia, Canada, and then less than 1% of Philippines, India, and Russia. Yeah, Russia's new. So no um, Japanese or Chinese. All right. What else we got? Still a few more things in here. Okay, I love this. I don't know what it is. It looks like a jelly type thing, but it's just a burger called a trolley. Looks like a, one of those edible Krabby Patties, which you know nothing about. It's just big burger. See, that's nice. It ha it's in Japanese German. and then also English. It's, German. it's a big burger. This is this is how this is what German looks like. 
Yeah, it says Trolley is a German confectionery brand. But this, there's no way that's... They have factories in Germany, German Spain, brand. Indonesia, China, and the Czech Republic. I mean, I guess they could have sold this in Japan because that's definitely Japanese. All right. Ooh. Another Milka, but this one is Oreo. Ooh. That could be really good. Is that caramel in the middle? Like some of these are going to be really good, and then some are just going to be like you're going to spit it out and think it's awful. A lot of it. This is a pretty good box for random shit. I don't want it to end. Can you get one of these every month? <laughs> uh, more of these fucking tablets, but this one looks like it's Coke. So you have to do research. Can you look up the Shang Tai Li? Excuse me. S H E N G T A I L I. Three words. Because they have to be tablets. Unless they're just like, you don't, it tastes like the drink and you just put them in your mouth instead of like putting them in water. I wish I could like take a picture and it would Google translate. Oh, this technically expired last year, but I've put worse in my body. Last. Oh, last two things. All right. What do we got? Ooh, what is this? Snickers fruit and nut. Let's go. Interesting. I love trying different flavors of like stuff I know. Like everybody knows Snickers. It's Snickers fruit and nut. Love that. And last but not least, a Cadbury Fuse. This looks delicious too. That's yeah, a Cadbury Fuse. Looks like uh, hazelnuts in there. Oh. There's actually one more thing in here. The I'm last... kind of wondering how you got the Cadbury Fuse because it says they stopped production on the Fuse back in 2006, briefly brought it back for Halloween competition back in 2015. They must have... Uh, let's see when this was... Oh, it was that was in, in England. They, it's no longer made, so maybe oh. it's from another country then. And last but not least, cinnamon-flavored toothpicks. Interesting. Cinepix is what they call them. Fuse Why would you eat. want that? Sugar free. That's good. Zero calories. And curb the urge. Curb the urge to what? To clean your teeth? Like I don't understand why you'd want a, a cinnamon. I'm not a, I'm not a huge cinnamon guy. So I, I don't think I'm gonna be cosplaying as Razor Ramon with these. <laughs> but that was uh yeah, that was pretty awesome. Now I have to clean this up. But the question is which one are you gonna have tonight? I feel like I should save it. I don't want to eat any of them tonight. I don't know what to. We have to research what these are. Are I, you? I swear to, to God, you have to like take a picture and tag the person on TikTok. You do that. <laughs> but like, it's, it, right? It has to be one of the two things. You either put it in water and it makes your drink that, or you just like it's like a hard candy and you suck on it. Hashtag drop madness. It's got to be something that you put in in water. That's interesting. And like this one is like green tea or some bullshit. And then I had like the Coke. Wow. I think this is the only like American one in there. Which is kind of cool. I was expecting it to be stuff that you've had before and stuff like that. I was hoping it would be stuff like this. Like you can't get anywhere. Now, how do these people get this stuff? I wonder that too. Because you've seen their TikToks. Like they have an entire like. Yeah shelves and shelves of it not looking forward to this one you might have to pay me to eat this because i don't you think might i have do to it. have that and then chase it with the mountain dew <laughs> spicy it, it would have to also if i ever tried these it would have to be at the end of the podcast because i'm not i wouldn't be able to speak for the rest of the fucking podcast you'd have to do it on the toilet too I think. that's true i probably <laughs> should do that extra, extra flaming hot not just flaming hot extra, extra. flaming hot all right what was your uh did you have a favorite one? Like, I feel like this is just going to be fucking amazing. Yeah, that that I think that 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 was the first one you pulled out, and just because it's bacon flavored, like it's going to be good. And like, I still don't know if this is a cereal or it says mix. Like, am I just supposed to? Because it has white chocolate too, but this is like a cereal, or is it just like a snack? Does it should, does it bleh, does it just say Nesquik mix? Nesquik mix, yeah. And then it's got some cartoons on the back. Is it like when you feel the bag? Does it feel like a powder? No, it's it's like cocoa puffs. Oh, little ball. Oh, that's right. You that's did why, say that. that's why, little ball. So I think I would give this an A. 
Like, I don't know how much how they could have done much better for just random. So I, I feel like this is like an A. This might be my favorite packaging. Just the fucking <laughs> trolley. The trolley. I think I'm looking forward to the uh, this Kit Kat crunch. Oh, it's got like a one of those wafer things in it. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I just Googled it, the Nesquik Mix Cereal. These are my two least favorites. I was hoping there'd be some good drinks, but I'll, I'll give these a try. But I don't really like sparkling water, and I hate tea. That honestly does not look like green tea. That looks like piss. It, it looks lighter than what you would think. But it's green tea ginger ale from Canada Dry. A huge fan of Canada Dry growing up. When you're sick, you always yep. get ginger ale. While you're watching prices right. And then the sparkling water, the chupa chups, zero sugar strawberry flavor. That well won't be that bad. But this I'm not this I won't. You should light the uh, lifesaver candle while you drink that. Which one? The piss or the strawberry? Yeah, you should light the cherry the cherry lifesaver candle while you drink the piss and then put a cinnamon toothpick in your mouth. Oh god. All right. Hold on a few. I think the things. cinnamon toothpick might oh. be the biggest waste of a thing i wonder that i thought i thought that was just like a throw-in where it's like here here's some toothpicks but like and i got a lot of skittles so this was an a plus gift thank you we got content for the podcast for for months now i still have a lot of stuff in the my drawer with about candy but this is all like new stuff and i'll try i'll try all of it on the podcast i don't think i'm just gonna be eating it randomly you're not just gonna wake up at like 2 a.m like i'm hungry yeah. and have some flaming hot uh, i need i need a trolley food. fucking burger candy <laughs> i'm thirsty i'm parched i'm gonna have the, the flaming hot mountain dew now my ocd i have to get this off, off wait did desk. you ever try the uh the kit kat blueberry muffin we talked about it yeah last. i tried oh yeah i tried it at work we all loved it it didn't. Ex I mean, it was more blueberry than muffin. I don't know how you can get the flavor of a muffin, but it was. You know, we all three of us were like, "This is the best." They nailed. But do you think like, they misbranded it by calling it a blueberry muffin? It should have just been Kit Kat blueberry. It it, I, it didn't really taste like a muffin, but it was blueberry enough to where you could trick your mind into think you're eating a muffin. But it was like uh, it was a home run. Very good. Why did Alex send me a snap? <laughs> Stupid. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> Sami Zayn is in the ring. So don't worry. Aaron Hicks just got hit by a pitch, but he's not dead. Unfortunately. Moron. He's still got so many years left. He's not a free agent for like four years. I I hate him more than I hated Gary Sanchez. Fuck you, Aaron Hicks. Oh yeah, fuck I hate you. him way more than Gary. What's our fuck counter at? Because fuck Aaron Hicks. Bobby will let us know. We gotta be up to at least four fucks at this point. Now five. All right, what are we doing next? I'm kind of happy with that, oh. that mystery box. Yeah, I'm that was how that turned out. Like I was, I I don't think they could have done much better, but I wouldn't give it an A plus because there was a few things. But that's just because my own personal taste. But that was like that was an A home run. I just love that it was honestly like you had said, it's stuff that's not that you can't get around here. It's it's all the majority of it was all stuff from other Foreign. countries you can't get anywhere although it's there's great. plenty of stuff that you could get in like region specific that were it's always it's never the northeast we never get anything yeah you like, give it to their freaking trailer park trash in like alabama they grow a third tail i guess that makes sense for like stuff like mountain dew where it's way more popular to just, just like chug in the fucking south or, or the midwest or whatever but we never get any like region specific flavors all right Randy Brackets. It's my uh, birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to choose which ones I want. Do it. Oh, this one fits me perfectly. The best insults. Ooh. So he, this is the newest one he sent me. All right, let's see what they did. You ready? I'm going to be pissed off if there's some, like, shitty ones on. They're like, nincompoop, chucklehead, fuck you. Uh, that's the, those are the one and two seeds. So I knew it. Ruin that. All right, ready? Number one seed, dipshit. Classic. Versus the number 16, Dingus. Ooh. Dingus is not really common anymore. I, don't, I feel that's like a 80s insult. It's dipshit it feels like. is the one seed? Yeah, that's a strange one seed. Like, jackass better be a two seed then. Although, I, I do use dipshit. I feel like that's a good word to describe someone Aaron just Hicks. being a fucking moron. No, he deserves worse than dipshit. But um, <laughs> dipshit obviously goes 
goes over. How do you spell dingus, by the way? Is that D-I-N-G-U-S? G-U-S, yeah. Wow, the eight seed. This is an eight seed. The eight seed is pussy. The nine seed is dweeb. Ooh. I call people nerds way more than dweeb. Another, like, more 80s term. Pussy is definitely... Pussy should be the one seed. That's, like, one of the, probably one of the most popular insults. Yeah, I feel like that's very poorly seeded. Again, fucking bar stool. Oh, I have to change my uh, the banner. There we go. But dweeb isn't that much of an insult, though. It's like nerd, geek, and dweeb are all sort of like they're not the same, but they're they're, they're almost the same interchangeable. Family. So pussy has to win. All right, number five, awful. These are this is these are is both awful. They actually the insult. No, these are both awful. Awful shouldn't be on here. Number five, Queenie. <laughs> and number twelve, weakling. Ooh, just by default, fucking weenie wins. Like that's yeah. just, although that's what would you call somebody weakling if they're that? But that has to do with their strength. Nobody, no other scenario, you're calling somebody a weakling. Mentally weak. I feel like weenie is just like bad. I'm kind of not good of an insult either. I'm kind of leaning towards weakling. Like when somebody says you're a weenie, like you just laugh. Like what are you fucking five? No, if you're calling me a weakling, like. Punching the trachea. All right, so weakling will go with the upset. So we got the four and the thirteen. Fatso versus Ooh. imbecile. Is Fatso the four seed? Yeah, imbecile. Ooh. I love the word imbecile. It's imbecile is un- good too, though. It's, it's underused. I, I feel, feel like, like just from a, a what they change more it, insulting is Fatso. But if they change that to fat ass, that would be better. Fatso, who's calling Fatso? Fatty, but also if you're insulting somebody, you're usually probably not using a word like imbecile. That's true, but I feel like if you change fatso to fatty, fatty or fatty or fat ass would be better than fatso. But I guess well, they're all interchangeable, so we'll go four seed. All right, the number three seed, the all popular dickhead, (laughs) and a very low seeded fourteen. Your mother. How is your mother the fourteen seed? I have a great story about that. Well, what's what, what's a comeback to when somebody says your mother? You have nothing, right? So Hector said that to me once. We really didn't know each other that well at work, and I just said, "Oh yeah, she's dead." Like of my sense of humor, like of course, I'm, I'm joking. Like never once thought I was came off as serious at all. How bad did I, Hector feel? He thought she was dead for months, and one of our other friends, Phil, literally thought she was dead like the entire time we knew each other until she came into the store one day. And I was like, I honestly didn't think you th- you took me seriously. But like, when you say your mother, what I, there, I have no other response. I just go, she's dead. And like, I didn't know he was like, oh my god. And like, he thought that whole time she was dead. I had no idea. I was just trying to get the last word. I mean, you could have just been like, your mother killed my father. Thanks for bringing up a painful memory. But I just went, your mother, and walked away and didn't think anything of it. That's months later. He's like, yeah, I thought she was actually dead. And, and I told my mom that she's pissed. She's like, why are you fucking doing that? I'm like, At least I'm talking about you. <laughs> so I don't know which one to pick. I feel like oh. dickhead has to win. D- Dickhead's too good. Your mother's not really an insult. It's just like, I got nothing else to say, so I'll say your mother. But also, why is that the 14? Yeah, I don't know. And it's a picture of Wilder- Wilmer Valderrama. And then this is the picture of the dickhead. Like a literal dickhead. <laughs> Is it kind of, yeah, like what the fuck is that? That looks right. like um, what's his name from the Dark Order? Is that John Silver? Or um, who's the other? I don't know any of the fucking Dark Order guys. Who's the other one? The one with the mask, Evil Uno. Let's look like what he would be under the mask. Oh, you know what sucks? This fucking uh, you can't pause the stream because I turned the fan down and now I'm starting to get hot. <laughs> this sucks. So I'm gonna have to like after we do this, I'm gonna have to like quickly run and turn it on. All right, the six seed loser classic versus the eleven seed, which nobody says anymore. Four eyes. Ooh, I'm gonna go six seed. Yeah, we don't have to discuss that. Four eyes is like a fucking eighties and before, maybe in the nineties too, but nobody says that anymore. But do you feel like the six seed is a little underseated there too, though? Losers should be like a top three seed. Loser, but don't get dipshit out of there. But like a four seed. Fat so is the four seed. At least loser could have been the four seed. All right. Seven seed. I don't know how this isn't the highest. This is probably the most common insult ever. Bitch. And then number 10, Bozo. 
It's bitch. It's bitch. Yeah. Seven bitch. Seed. Yeah, come on. All right. And then the two seed versus the 15 seed. Clown versus scumbag. I might actually go scumbag. Scumbag is worse, I feel like. If you call me a scumbag, I'm going to be more offended than if you call me a clown. I think I'm going scumbag upset. Yeah, I'll go but scumbag. I'm just gonna, so we just went through the first, you know, the 16 seeds. How is jackass not on there? Asshole. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can reach the fan without unplugging my headphones. Jack fuck. Yeah, I wish Jack was on there. Like, there's so many other insults that I'd have on there instead of, like, imbecile or clown. Even the loser. Like, that's... I feel like they, they, they missed out on something. You have pussy on there, but you don't have asshole. What or, do you expect? It's fucking Barcelona. You can get rid of Bozo. You can get rid of Fatso, Weakling, Weenie. Put on fucking all those words. If we had our own, it would be fucking Jack Fuck is the one seed versus, <laughs> versus the two seed Dick Fuck. Cunt Taco. Uh, fucking uh, God. So it's some of the weirdest insult. The fucking like, like clip pizza or weird <laughs> shit like that. All right, so what do we got? The dipshit versus pussy. Dipshit versus pussy. I pussy, might pussy. Pussy has pussy has to win, right? I'm, I'm just like, angry that dipshit's the one seed. Yeah, that's weird. Pussy should be the one seed. And then we got what do we go? Weakling versus fatso. Fatso, fat ass, fat ass, fatso. And it's a picture of fucking Patrick. Is oh Patrick's in the imbecile, not the fatso. So fatso, fat yeah. ass. All I'd right. And then dickhead versus loser. Eileen dickhead. Best insult. Loser is a classic, but it's like played out. I feel like dickhead is. I think I, I, I agree. I think dickhead. And then bitch versus scumbag. I, I got to go scumbag. Really? But you bitch do. is just the best. It's you're a bitch. <laughs> You're yeah, a but bitch. I feel like you're more insulting. I'm like, you're a fucking scumbag. I feel oh, like that's... that's actually more insulting. I don't know if I can pick scumbag over bitch. Because it's just like, you I'm use a the bitch word all the bitch. time. But if you called me a scumbag, I'm actually going to be offended. No, you're not. If you called, called me a scumbag, with, I wouldn't be. But if called... somebody actually liked did. Uh, I don't know. You get it's your birthday tomorrow, so I mean, you 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 make the call. I, I feel me. like I feel like since it's so close, you got to go with the one you call most. I feel Which like it's a bitch. bitch. I feel like that's the tiebreaker, but that's like that's really close. So we got uh, pussy. That's so. Yeah, pussy. Pussy wins. It has to. Eight seed in the final. I feel like pussy wins, and then what is it? Dickhead against bitch. bitch. Bitch is too classic to not pick, but dickhead is also great. But how is bitch a 17 and pussy an 18? Because they're fucking dumb in Barstool. What do you expect? Either way, let's just say bitch wins. Pussy's winning. Pussy's... You're a fucking pussy. Like, I love just using that word, like, joking. Like, judge will get hit in the head and have to be taken out of the game. And be like, you're a pussy. Pussy, walk it off. They just hit a ground ball with two outs at Anthony Rizzo right off his glove. Awesome. So he's just not good anymore at all. Yeah, he was good for two weeks, and now it's just it's all downhill. They gave him an error. They gave him an error. Is it still three to two? Four to two. Oh, awesome. They scored so, another run that same inning. Morons. All right, so pussy wins. All right. So we got – I'll let you pick this one. Worst things about school. Okay, I have pussy. that one saved twice for some reason. That's disappointing. I thought I had an extra one. The worst situations. I feel like we have to do that just to see what they are. Is that like the situation from the Jersey Shore? Because no, I'm he'd be on he'd be on a list by himself. The worst trend, and then the least consequential things, and then the worst fandoms. Worst fandoms. Let's go. Oh, but what about the? You're gonna make me wait a week to see the worst situations. All right. Yes. I would say, all right. The worst fandoms. Oh, don't worry though. They just hit a ground, or they hit a fly ball to left field. And Aaron Hicks let it drop in front of him again. He doesn't know how to play the outfield. I hate him so much. Now there's first and third two outs, so they're about to score. I feel like this isn't going to be a good one because half of these we don't like. I don't know anything about. So then we should go to worst situations. Then let's do it. But uh, let's get this one out of the way. Or or I kind of do want it because, like, it's I don't know half of these fandoms. Like, are they bad or not? Like some of them are weird. I guess we could do three, but like, let's just try to blow through this one because this one kind of sucks. 
Star Wars versus K-pop. Ooh. Like, I think every fandom is just is just, there's all there's always bad. Like people are obsessed with fucking Star Wars, but like K-pop, there's a whole K-pop is huge, but I know nothing about it. I want to say Star Wars would be worse because it's been around longer. Star Wars. I mean, maybe K-pop's been around since the fucking who knows when. True. True. I don't know how long it's been, but fucking. And then there's like American soccer fans and Taylor Swift. I feel like Swifties are pretty fucking. Swifties are pretty. But American soccer fans. I don't know. Mikey. Are there American soccer fans? Mikey hates the team USA. (laughs) I feel like this one sucks. I feel like we should skip this because I'll give you the rundown of what they are. Comic book movies. The Office. Politics. I love how that's fandom. Porn stars. What, what that what, shouldn't what? be on the list at all. Porn star fans are fucking awesome. New York, LA, Dallas, Duke. What? I guess they're all just throwing them on there. The Yankees, the Lakers, the Cowboys, and Duke. That's just one. That's one. That's and it's a picture of Coach K and then 14 seed Elon Musk. Nah, that's college football YouTubers. Book was better, people. That's a pretty good oh. one. <laughs> the book was better. Go fuck yourself. My little pony. I don't think that's a. I know bronies are a thing. Then anime and true crime. We're Trumpers. How Trumpers not on there? I don't like that one. I'm I'm deleting it. So we're going to uh, the worst situations. All right, you ready? This one might take a while to get through. Any toilet issues is the number one seed. I mean, that's. It's pretty bad. Yeah. I have poop anxiety. That's going to be hard to top. He just got out of it. He struck the guy out. That's going to be hard to top. I'll go into the bathroom and make sure it's empty before I start to poop. And then if somebody comes in, I will wait until they leave to resume pooping. I, and, then, and there are other people who just start shitting right away and don't give a fuck. I wish I could be like that, but it's just so awkward. I'm like one of those people that I will not do it in a public place. Yeah, you're like fucking Peter. Home bowl. Yeah, like I will not do if I'm away or something. I have to be in my hotel room where I cannot do that in a public place. Yeah, but what if you have to and you have no choice? I poop my pants. So, and then the 16th seed, getting too high from an edible, which I have the one experience I have, it was fucking awful with an edible. I mean, that's pretty shitty too, but I would go toilet issues has to be. But I mean, getting, having a bad reaction, not even just getting too, just having a bad reaction from the edible, not. So not good. Once, one seed moves on. All right. I feel like that 16 seed's a little underseeded at this point. I mean, Greg, we're only going through one. But like, <laughs> There's only been one other thing. So it's a little underseated at this point, and I've only been through two. All right. The eight seed. Friends fighting with parents in front of you. That's Ooh, super that's fucking awkward. awkward. That is a terrible situation. And number nine, hurting a kid on accident. Ooh, that Ooh. is a great eight nine. Ooh. Ooh. Those are both awkward. Uh, oh, what would God, I like rather... Hurting a kid on accident. How old is the kid? Is that, I mean, that kind of matters. Is he 17? Did you hit him with your car? Or is he six? Oh, either of them, I guess. But hurt, I feel like worst situation kid. is hurting the kid by accident. The most awkward feeling is when you're around somebody that's like fighting with the parents. I will double that. I will double this though. When I'm with you and Alex and you guys get into a fight, I'm like, what well, the I want to get out of yeah, this situation are, so badly. Sibling arguing is fine. It's just when you're pa- <laughs> yelling at your parents and you're just at, over at their house. But I've, hurting a kid is, is, is worse. So you just feel so fucking bad. I did that once. I opened the back door to at work one time and like the kid was standing right in front of the door. So the door hit him in the face. I'm like, well, it's your own fucking fault. But, but I feel your kid right there. But we're going nine seed kid. All right accidentally texting trash talk to the person you're trashing. Ooh, that is the worst where it's like, Oh yeah, I'm going on a date with this bitch and you send it to the fucking chick. Which or you're talking this. shit about somebody you work with. You actually send it to them. So remember when three way calling was a thing. Yep. Somebody called me and they asked me about my other friend. And then I said something like, Oh, they're being a dick or something like that. And then they were on the phone and I just hung up and ghosted them for like a week. That's I was like, that's, I was like you don't piss me off. You don't do that. You don't that's, fucking do that. That pissed me off so much. And then like they called and I picked up the phone and just stayed silent. And so they thought it was the answering machine and then they left a fake message. And I like just I'm not talking to you for a few days. You don't don't do that. You're a dick. And then stuck somewhere with someone you only kind of know. Ooh, Ooh. that is super awkward too. Ooh. I would feel worse with the text though. Because yeah, there's what, no recovering from that. What seed is that? Five. 
I feel like that 12 seed's a little underseeded, but I go the I go the five seed. Yeah. All right. Four seed being around your ex immediately after you break up. That's yeah. Depend I mean, depending on the breakup, but I don't know why you'd be around them. Even depending on the breakup, like if you work with them or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh and then number 13, dead phone with no hope of charging soon. Oh. God, that's I a get, tough match. I get battery anxiety when my phone goes below like 80. <laughs> I'm like, I got to charge because if I go somewhere and I'm in there for an extended period of time and I can't charge, the phone could be dead. Freak like, out. You don't know what your next four hours are going to be like. You could be somewhere. Something could happen. That's tough. Though. I, it's a picture I, of David Duchovny staring at his phone. <laughs> I feel like there's there could you could be on good terms with your ex. There's no nothing about it good about a dead phone. But even if you're on good terms with your ex, it could still be <laughs> awkward. Like if they're hitting on somebody or somebody's could hitting be. on them. Could be. There's nothing good about a dead phone with no hope, hope of charging. But at least for iPhones, you guys that probably last on one percent for a while. My That's battery true. fucking drains like shit. I go. I think we're going upset. Thirteen seed. I think so. All right. Let's see. Ooh, the two seed. Yeah, this sucks. Wet socks. Oh, the worst. And number fourteen, which is a picture of LeBron. I haven't even read it yet. Getting caught liking sexy IG pics. I would have changed that to getting caught liking a really old Instagram picture. Like, oh, accident- that's the worst. Or oh, accidentally liking somebody's Facebook picture from like seven years ago. <laughs> yeah, oh. you're stalking their page, their old photo. I get terrified when I'm scrolling. I'm like, I gotta be super careful. You don't want to accidentally double click. That's. If that was the 14 seed, I would say that wins. Wet socks is uncomfortable, but I would rather be in wet socks than fucking liking somebody's 10 year old. Yeah, I'd, Instagram I'd say picture. that's an upset again. But it's getting caught liking sexy IG pics, which I don't. I mean, I, I'm going wet socks if it's that. Yeah. Did LeBron get caught with that? Like what? I'm kind of wondering why it's the picture of LeBron. All right, we're going wet socks because that's never fun. Okay, number six seed: being in Times Square near Christmas Eve. Very specific situation <laughs> versus the 11 seed getting caught cheating in school. Yeah, getting caught cheating is way worse. I understand if you're in Times Square and it's Christmas time, you're probably fucking flooded with people, but you're kind of going there for that reason because yeah, you know you're, what you're getting in the city into for a specific reason. You know why, so, you know, it's going to be like that's not like you're caught by surprise. Yet another weird fucking thing on a bar stool list upset, caught cheating in school. All right, number seven, accidentally breaking someone else's stuff. Ugh, that's brutal. And then the 10 seed, being the offender in a car accident. That's, that's, those that's are pretty, upset. pretty, 10 seed's going to win. Pretty well matched up. They're both the same thing, but the car accident's way on a much bigger scale. So I'll go upset too. 10 seed over the seven seed. And then we got the two seed, being forced to watch your video. Uh, your friends insist is funny. Wait, being forced to watch a video, your friend insists is funny. I think that's more awkward for the person showing you the video. I hate when I show somebody something I think is funny and, and then they don't laugh as much as I do. And I'm they like, they deadpan just like, yeah, that's great. Yeah, exactly. I think that's more. See, we'd be fucking better at this. Uh, and then 15, first week of school, uh, first week of work slash school icebreaker activities. Those suck. I hate that. I hate having to introduce myself and saying one fun fact. I'm going to say I I might actually go upset here. Yeah, because being forced to watch a video from your friend, it's not that bad. So I would go upset too. Like when we always have these meetings at work and it's like, tell us something about you that nobody else would know. Fuck you. I don't want to do this. I fucked 48 hookers. Uh, Matt, uh, can I see you in the office? <laughs> you ask what nobody else knows. Fuck you, man. This Fuck is how scary. some of my hooker videos start, actually. Can I see you in the office? <sighs> um, so what did we got? The one seat, any toilet issues versus hurting a kid on accident. This is tough. If I have to shit, I have shit issues, I'd rather punch a kid. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll accidentally punch a kid before having to like shit myself at work. <laughs> I don't like pooping at work, but did you see that Instagram post? Do you see my Instagram post of that guy from TikTok? Brad Aaron George, two run home run tie game. Ooh, he is playing himself right out of New York. Hashtag that, judge. Sucks. You got to follow that dude, Brad easy. He posts a shit where it's like coming out to that song and it's just like going to poop on company time for the third time today. 
just him going into the bathroom. Like, ah, oh, that's so funny. But I, I'm taking toilet issues. That's the worst. All right, I guess you're you you agree. I agree. Do you hear those dogs barking in my background? No, they're so loud. You have dogs now? No, it's one of my neighbor's dogs. I think. All right. Accidentally text trash uh, trash texting. I can't read. Accidentally texting trash to the person you're trashing. Is that what we picked? I don't yeah, even and then the 13 seed was the dead phone dead battery phone. with the hope charging. That's tough. What's the worst worst situation? Because the dead phone affects you. It's just you're not embarrassed. But it's like your phone's dead. That yeah, sucks. I, to me, that's the worst situation to be in. Yeah, I'm going to go with 13 seed. Because I'm selfish. I'm thinking about me. Yeah. And then wet socks versus getting caught cheating. What seed was caught cheating? 11. That's underseeded. I, I lean upset again. I feel like getting caught cheating is a worse situation than having a wet sock. Wet socks, you're uncomfortable. It also depends on how long it is because your feet just get fucked. Yep. But yeah, I'll go 11 seed. All right. Then the uh, being the offender in a car accident versus uh, the icebreaker activities. So you realize this is the 10 seed versus the 15 seed. Yeah, because Barstool sucks with ball sack. <laughs> They're awful. I feel like my biggest fear is like, I don't want, if I'll get into a car accident, fuck my car up, it's your fault. I don't want to be the one at fault. Like that's just, yep. not even because you're paying, it's just you feel like a douchebag. So well, I think I've, that told, I've told you that, what was it? Nine years ago, eight years ago? No, probably like nine or 10 years ago. What, what I was driving have? home from work. The telephone pole? No, this was when I was like 17, but like, I was driving home from work on 684 and I was in traffic, rear ended someone like a full seven seconds later. I got rear ended because the guy wasn't paying attention. The guy who rear ended me sued me. I feel like I knew this. And I had to go to depositions and all this stuff. No, it ended up getting thrown out because he was at fault. So who has to, so I feel like you have to pay for the guy in front because I always hear that rumor like, oh, the person who does it last has to pay like is at fault for everything, but it's not. No, I was at fault for the guy I hit, and then, and then he was he... at fault for not paying attention to the situation and hitting me. Idiots. But then he sued me, and like his per the it, it wasn't even the driver that sued me; it was the passenger of the car for sued injuries, me, saying that he was injured and out of work, and like How, they didn't he was dismissed that right he away. Ne- he never even. Went to the hospital. But they didn't dismiss that right away. Okay, uh, no. your driver rear-ended you, so... Idiot. So It I went on for like almost two years. Up. Fucking legal system. It was system. ridiculous. So the 10 seed. So what do we have? One versus 13. I'm still... As much as the dead phone would suck, I don't want to have any... Juice. I don't want to have any poop issues. And then cheating in school versus the car? Car accident. That's 11 seed versus a 10 seed. Uh, I feel like car. I, I agree. I agree. And then uh, this is tough. I tend to lean toilet issues because it just, I don't want to, but I would rather have to shit myself than hit somebody <laughs> with a car. So I feel like then by that logic, the 10 seed has to win. Yeah. I think, I think the being the offender in the car accident is the. Yeah. Because that's, winner. that's just not good all around. So a fucking 10 seed with the W. Fucking Barstool needs to better seed these things. At least their one seed, this one was good. That made it That's to the true. finals. There was not, at, this is one of the few times where there weren't any on here that were just like, why are you here? Like, why, why is it on this list? All right. That was so I give him that. Fucking uh, poop issues. Uh, thanks for deleting all of them. I got you. All right. So, what uh, what list do you have? Because that the, this stuff took way longer than I thought, so we might have to just skip some of this stuff. But you have a sportster list. In Fucking honor sportster. of your birthday, throwing it back old school. Is this an old list or is this a new sportster list? It's a new sportster list that was posted like two hours ago. Oh, wow. Ten dumb wrestling spots that never should have happened. Are they all AEW? They're not all AEW. Some of them are stupid, but then some of them are like, what was what was wrong with this? So All right, this is too many to guess. So like there could be a billion things, but this is this should be good. All right. So first, number ten, Sammy Guevara spearing Matt Hardy at All Out in 2020 when they went off the. Uh, oh, okay. I was like, I don't know head, what that is. Cracked yeah. his head like a freaking. 
Okay, that was Cantaloupe, just dumb. and then they continued the match after. That was just dumb. Okay, this is from 2012 Monday Night Raw. 2012. No clue. It destroyed somebody's push, even though they're one of the most over people in the company to get somebody else over. It destroyed somebody's put? push. Push. Whose pussy got destroyed on Raw in 2012? Uh, yeah, I have, this is 2012. This is like pre Shield. So no, this was they, 2012. No, I lo- wait. Yeah, no, it was, it was pre Shield. Shield Just was 2012, Mania 2014. Season. 2012 Mania was 28? 28? There needed to be a feud for someone before WrestleMania. And this was. I, I'm, I'm never, I'm never going to fucking guess it. Let's see what uh, happened. Kane rolling Zack Ryder off the stage. Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck Zack Ryder though. That that wasn't that's that shouldn't be on the list. That wasn't a da- that dangerous of a spot. No, it wasn't dangerous spots. Dumb wrestling spots that should never happened. It was a dumb I spot. That I don't know. I kind of liked it. Push. I remember I liked it back then. I don't know how that ruins your push. They probably were just never going to push him after that anyway, and figured let's kill him. That's not valid. Fuck Zack Ryder though. All right, this is uh, number eight. From King of the Ring 2001. Is this the glass spot? Yep. With Although, Kurt Angle and Shane McMahon. I don't agree with that because they fucking bought the wrong glass. So they had to do it like nine times. Yeah, the W was supposed to gimmick the glass so the bump would be easy. That wasn't the case. And because they were tired and Angle was already injured, it led to the bumps not working. Yeah, Shane, for as bad as Shane might be sometimes, like he fucking did a lot of bumps. So... I appreciate that. Because that was a hell of a fucking match. And it fucking worked the rest of the match. Uh, Kurt Angle broke his fucking tailbone. I can't even imagine that. God, that's brutal. All right, number seven. Brock Lesnar busts Randy Orton open SummerSlam 2016. With no, those freaking, get that off the list. That was, that was planned, and that was fucking brilliant. I love that spot. Because people thought it was legit. It was, it was Didn't fucking, Jericho try yeah. to fight? Yeah, he got me. He's like, was that real? What was that? Like, yeah, I'm pretty. I'm almost positive that that was a planned spot. So that maybe not, maybe that not was, busting his head open as bad as they did. I mean, that was a whole really the whole reason why he did it. So to fucking you know, fuck him up, so they could end the match like that. I remember being excited for that match. I don't remember if it was like even decent, but I remember being super excited for that. I don't remember. Where was that? It was 2016. It was. A, it ended in a TKO. Yeah. That was a good way to end it. Orton doesn't get pinned. He just gets fucking bludgeoned to death. (laughs) Bludgeoned to death. Uh, Number six is an AEW one. There we go. Sean Spears hits a chair shot on Cody Rhodes. Fighter Fest 2019. They gimmicked the chair and they still fucked it up because it fucking broke too well and he fucking cut himself with the top of the chair. I remember, I'm pretty sure even AEW fans were like, we don't need this. We don't need that. Was so, so, I got, I remember that. It was awful. At least it was a gimmicks chair. And like he didn't, like it got fucked up because it broke and it cut him with the top of the chair. Like the sharp, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that was unnecessary. And the fucking chair, man. Oh my God. Just fire him. <laughs> waste right, now money. we have waste of money. He's in a steel cage match against Wardlow tomorrow. Yeah. Because, or Wednesday, excuse me, Wednesday. Because that's a real fucking, uh, real challenge for fucking Wardlow. That's got to be why Sean Spears won that squash match, squash match on, uh, Rampage. Against who? Uh, the former Killian Dane, now going as Big Damo. Wow, Big Damo. Made that his is... AEW debut, lost in about 90 seconds. Brutal. Big Damo. Wow. That's <laughs> I might bad. be pronouncing it wrong. It could be Big Damo? Damo? Diego Fago? <laughs> New Ravens player. I didn't. Uh, I didn't say what I think his name sounds like. Din Diego Fago. All right, number five. This is from Royal Rumble 1999. Royal Rumble 99. Who the fuck won in 99? Vince. Wonder what the spot is. Uh, mankind taking eleven. Uh, oh, shots fuck, fuck the fuck head, handcuffs yeah. behind his back. But that was really fucking cool. Like that just. Yeah, it's probably. How is he not gone crazy and killed people yet? Like from all the headshots. He's, like, he's, he's so too nice of a guy because he doesn't take uh, steroids. <laughs> clearly, it's true. So the head <laughs> trauma is just probably he just can't walk correctly forever. So poor guy. 
But yeah, that was, four. that was like difficult. And his family was front row. You think you, you have a general idea of what you're doing for that match. Tell him to stay the fuck home. Yeah, or like, like, like maybe you'd want to be at the concession stands when this happens. Your little kids being front row for that match. Yeah, not good. All right, number four, King of the Ring, 1998. <laughs> I think you have an idea of what this is. This had to happen, though. It's fucking epic. And it wasn't... Are you? Are they, are they doing the throw off the cell or the fucking choke slam? Uh, they're kind of doing both. Because so they're the, saying one could argue one was that planned. the spot throwing them off the cage shouldn't have happened. At least he had a table to break his fall. He was that should fine the after end that. of the match. It was the choke slam through the... Yeah, that is the kind chair of, hit him in the face. I guess that he must have known that he would have been fine. Because that is a weird thing to do at the beginning of the match. Because you could have just thrown him off of it picked him up and then like tombstoned him but he had to wrestle a whole fucking match after that and he should have the freaking... he almost died like he would have died if he took that choke slam off the cell like correctly like he just got up like he didn't even get off the ground one of his feet was still on the ground but if he went up his momentum would have carried him down he would have broken his neck so yeah, he would have he says he's over. he's lucky he took the choke slam so poorly that he didn't die because that wasn't planned which is how did he ever scary. climb up the hell in a cell with the dislocated shoulder He's a fucking man. He's just, just insane. And then they thought he was smiling by trying to stick his tongue through the hole in his fucking mouth. Awful. Insane. I remember watching that live, just being like, holy fuck. I was 12, nuts. and I was like almost in tears. Yes, you're fucking was a pussy. Bitch. See, pussy. <laughs> Number one, <laughs> did pussy win? Pussy did win, yeah. All right, yeah. There you see, exactly, you're a pussy. In <laughs> tears, big mankind guy. <laughs> Uh, number three is one I actually don't know, and I'm going to read it to you. It's actually, I hope so. You're fucking doing the list. It's TNA. TNA. Uh, is it the... Uh, I'm trying to, what year? 2008. Bound for Glory. I'm going to say the Elix Skipper was before that. That fucking incredible Hurricane Rana off the fucking cage. I believe that was before. Was so it some X Division was... spot? This is not an exhibition spot. Interesting. So this was called a dangerous dropkick. TNA saw some crazy bumps take place over the years at Bound for Glory in 2008. One of the wildest happened for no real reason. Sting and Samoa Joe were brawling on the stairs when Joe decided to leap from a barricade into the stairs to deliver a diving dropkick. Why is Samoa Joe doing a diving dropkick? However, it led to Joe's back landing directly onto the stairs which was a serious bump to take for the sake of a drop kick. Considering all the fans were in the way, the move couldn't even be seen properly by the camera. That's just poor, uh, poor production. And how do you even remember to put that on your list of dumb spots? Like that's so obscure. And number two, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think should be on the list. Well, who does number two work for? NXT. Number two works for NXT. And number two work. Oh, does. <laughs> number, number two, two work for. Work oh my for. god! You know it took me oh, like I didn't understand that joke forever. Because like what, Austin Tom Arnold was in that scene, wasn't he? That was the first Austin Powers, right? And that came out in like '99, so we were like 13. I didn't really know what a number two was, which is weird, because I didn't get the. I was like, "Who does number two work for?" I was like, well, "Yeah, that's his name," and he's choking. But like, oh, he's taking a shit also, and Tom Arnold thinks he's asking who his shit works for. <laughs> Oh, that's such a great movie. Hey, there you are. Oh, do I know you? No, but that's where you are. You're there. And then he walks away. What a fucking classic movie. NXT so, spot from what year? It was NXT TakeOver War Games 2019. And as you're thinking of that, uh, we're losing 5-4 because Cole sucks. Idiot. 20, which War Games match was that? Oh, there's, they all run together. Was it like the ricochet fucking like 30 flips off the top of the cage or some stupid shit? No, this I don't even remember this spot. And it was the the end of the match. It, so it says in 2019, Tomasa Ciampa and Adam Cole were involved in uh, as they got to the top of the structure and leaped down, crashing through a table to finish. The move saw Ciampa set Cole up for the air raid crash which was a blind bump that brought real risk. Considering Ciampa had just returned from a serious neck injury, this was something that wasn't necessary. Why do I not remember that? Yeah, they all, those matches all run together for me. That doesn't. That's just a weak number two, I guess. But I guess since he fucked up neck, whatever. Number, number one, one is AEW. Yeah. 
Blood and Guts 2021. No memory. Wait, did yeah. we miss Double or Nothing, or is that this Sunday? It's this coming Sunday. Oh, all right. <laughs> I didn't know if we, like, honestly, I remember they said Sunday, and I couldn't remember if it was last week or, like, if I missed it. So this one says Darby Allen often takes some unnecessary bumps to pop the crowd and get a reaction. No shit. Often, and that yeah, was the case often. of blood and guts. He wasn't even competing in a match yet. He still took an insane spot where Ethan page and Scorpio sky threw him down the stairs. He went down several flights with nothing to protect him as Allen fully committed to the bump, which was a huge spot. It was an unnecessary bump to not even be in the match, which was a questionable decision. How are there no Hardy boys on this list? Yeah, I don't know. Like, but that, fucking throw down the stairs and ma- you're not even in the match i remember that too idiot nor the guy who wrote this article is uh based in bradford england this is this is the sportster they have the a lot of they're like the what's it called what culture they're all european all right well now that, that you mentioned good throwback now that you mentioned the double or nothing do you want me to tell you what the double or nothing card is yeah because i i'm tempted to just not watch because I don't. Really I can care. tell you what the card is, and I can tell you who's currently favored. In the who's uh, how many matches are there? Like twelve. There is nine main show matches and one, um, whatever it's called, the buy-in match. I just have really like no interest, but there's no reason to not like try and fight a stream for it. Like but it, I just it, the I get angry watching AEW. Kind of, the cards met. Because everybody thinks their pay-per-views are like the greatest fucking thing ever, and I just I can't I just can't with it. So the the buy-in match is a tag team match of Hookhausen, Hook and Danhausen God. versus Tony Nice and Smart Mark Sterling. God, hurry, get this over with. I, I I hate it already. Hook and Danhausen are huge favorites to win. Yeah, I would hope so. We I have do like the name Hookhausen. Singles match for the AEW TBS Championship. Jade Cargill against Anna J. Yeah, that's next. Jade Cargill, huge favorite. We have the Men's Owen Hart Cup Tournament Final. It's Adam Cole versus Maybe. either Kyle O'Reilly or Samoa Joe, whoever wins on Wednesday. You feel like it would definitely be Joe, but that would kind of be cool if it was... They could just rehash another fucking ROH slash NXT feud. It should be Joe, but I could, I, I don't see them doing Kyle though. Yeah, I doubt it. I doubt he wins. Then we have I, the women's Owen Hart Cup final, which is either going to be Ruby Soho or Chris Statlander. They're wrestling on Wednesday versus the winner of Tony Storm or Dr. Britt Baker. Pass. You can't have Tony Storm lose to Britt Baker. I would hope not, but she probably will. Tony needs to win that tournament. But that's just me. For the AEW Women's Championship, moderate favorite, Thunder Rosa against Serena Deeb. There's no way she's dropping the title to fucking Serena. That would be like a f- giant fuck. You're ne- you win the title finally, and you're never on TV, and then you just fucking lose it. It'd Ugh. be terrible. So now we have a three-way tag team match for the AEW tag team titles. I don't even know who's champ. Oh, FTR. No, they're the ROH and Triple A champions. Who the fuck? Let me see. Who the fuck is the AEW tag team champions? They've been champions for a while too. Yeah, I've I haven't really watched AEW in a while. Who are the fucking champions? I literally have no idea. They're your faves. It's not the Young Bucks, are are they still champions? No, these people have been champions since uh, Dynamite on January 5th, 2022. Oh, that episode. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. It, you always tell their, say their tag team name wrong because... Oh, know. oh, oh, yeah. Okay, that's my bad. Yeah, I do love fucking Jungle Saurus or whatever the <laughs> fuck I say. I think you say Jungle Express or something. Jungle like Express. That. Yeah, that's it. Okay, yeah. I'm, I, that, that's how bad AEW is. I feel like they're usually not fucking on the show. So it's Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus versus Ricky Starks and Powerhouse Hobbs oh, versus God. Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland. That's brutal. Uh, are the Young Bucks even on this card? Oh, they like, are. They are. are they, what are they facing? FTR again or some bullshit? They're facing the Hardy Boys. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that's right. They are, even though they already did that in NEW. Oh, Edge is still talking, by the way. 
They went to a commercial break. Rhea Ripley talked for a while, too. Jesus. Guess who's favorite between the Young Bucks and the Hardys? I hope it's the Hardys. Young Bucks. I figured, but that would be funny if the fucking Hardys won. We have a six-man tag match. Death Triangle versus the House of Black. Death Triangle still a thing? Who the fuck is in that? Oh, is Phoenix? Phoenix is back, isn't he? Yeah, Phoenix is back. So it's Pac, Pento, Scorer, and Phoenix versus is he Malachi still blind? Is Pac still blind? No, he can see again. He can see Who's again. in House of Black? Who's the third guy? Oh, is it Buddy Matthew? Oh, my God. Yeah, Buddy Matthews, Brody King, and Malachi Black. So bad. House of Black is favored to win. We have the Anarchy in the Arena match. What is that, a Tom Brady documentary? I'm very curious what this match actually is. Uh, it's the Jericho Appreciation Society All five versus Eddie Kingston, Santana, Ortiz, and the Blackpool Combat Club. That's kind of okay. Uh, except nobody in Jericho's group is any good. I love 2.0 as like <laughs> comedy acts, but like fucking wrestlers, not so much. So yeah, I would not. hope that the Blackpool, whatever the fuck, who else is on the team, fucking wins. I already yeah, forgot. Have... Oh, the fucking Puerto Rican proud and powerful combat club. So they're go. calling themselves. There you go. And then the... they are. Yes. And then the main event. For the AEW Punk. World Championship. I hope Paige wins. Fuck CM Punk. Guess who the favorite is currently? Punk. Yep. I feel Punk like they the ha- they're they, they're going to have to put the title on him, but you're really doing Paige no favors with this title run. The, the card He's is never going so to be champion. He's never going to be champion again. Remember, this is the best uh, title reign that they've, AEW's ever had, according to Tony Khan. He said that? Yeah. I thought Moxley's was better, even though this is probably longer already. I thought um, Omega's was even better. There's been times where he's like not even like top two or three stories on the fucking show. So and you know I who like, actually I like Paige has the shortest title run of AEW champion. Is it is it fucking Ambrose? No, it's Jericho. Huh. <laughs> well, so I'm guessing it was it's probably Omega one, Paige already at two, then Moxley, and then Jericho. No, it's Omega at one, 346 days. Moxley at two with 277 days. Oh, nice. Three is Hangman. He's nearing 200 days. And then Jericho, 180. I got to be honest. It feels like Hangman's been champion for a long time. He's been champion since November 13th. It feels honestly a lot feels longer. Way than that. longer than that. It feels way too long. Like, And they just have not been doing anything with him. And the title matches he's had, he has like, what, three Texas death matches just yeah. he does. Well, I wanted to. I put down. We can. I think we got to save Family Guy rankings. But how about like name that celebrity? I think you can share your screen. Because let's see, I got a bunch of shit just fucking favorited. Quiz: How many of these '80s child stars do you know? I'm gonna send you the link right Ooh. now, and we'll do the share screen bullshit. And I wonder how easy these are. I showed you the one of what was it? A picture of who was it? A picture of was it the Undertaker? It was the Undertaker. And then one, Disco of the, one, Inferno. Of the, one of the choices was Disco Inferno. Oh, bargain. AJ Styles and Liv Morgan. Who has a better haircut? Oh, I'd actually say AJ Styles has a nicer head of hair. To be honest with you, I miss AJ like short hair. AJ like when he debuted, and that was like here was like cool. This is like. I don't know. Just not a long hair guy. You have the option to share your own screen, right? I don't have to. God, what the fuck is this static in my ear? I don't hear any static. Can you see my screen? Oh, that kind of worked. Can you see my screen? I have to add it to the stream, fuckwad. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you fucking did already, dick. Fuckwad. Yeah. Dickhead. All right. Let's see how many I can name. It's nothing I love more than 80s children. Start quiz. This is... Uh, hold on. Let me change the banner. You're going to have to go to our YouTube channel, or my YouTube channel, and check this out. That would be a recently discovered, might be a piece of shit, Fred Savage. 
We got Josh French. Brolin. Who, what Who the, the fuck is Noah up? Hathaway? I don't. I have to look him up now. Nailed it. Keep going. Noah Hathaway, American actor and former teen idol for his roles in The NeverEnding Story. Yeah, never saw that. And Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica oh, is a. Is that Lisa Bonet? I believe you're right. I don't think it's Sabrina. Le, Le, is that like Shia LaBeouf's Who, sister? Alias. At least they got another. It wasn't Keisha Knight Pulliam in the fucking Cosby show also? What was her name? Sabrina LaBeouf? I believe so, yes. Sabrina. I have um, no, no oh, idea. Oh, she was also is. on the Cosby show. Hold on. I haven't looked. That's Drew Barrymore. Still a major start. Is that Drew Barrymore from like freaking E.T.? That's from E.T., yeah. I've never seen E.T. For, uh, Fergie and Jessica Jastain. I'll be honest. I don't think I've seen the whole movie. That's, we should probably I, watch I honest, that. I've never seen, never seen it in my life. Really? Okay. All right. Well, that was pretty easy. I love how it just starts at the bottom for some reason. That would be yeah, Gary, fucking okay. Ricky Schroeder. Fuck your face, man. <laughs> and Macaulay Culkin. When Two it's white guys Gary, and there's a picture of Gary Culkin. Coleman. Clearly Gary Coleman. It is kind of annoying that anytime you hit next question, like I'm scrolling all the way to the top, like I'm at the top of the screen, and to, it's going to start at the bottom. I'm going to try not to look. Gary Coleman again? Who played Punky Brewster? That's Sully Moon. Oh, I don't easy. even need to Who see a picture. Punky Brewster? Did you not hear? I, I literally said the same thing right before you. That would be Sole Moonfry. Danica Patrick. Not even Danica McKellar. Danica Patrick. <laughs> Who was not a child star or an actor? Ugh. Oh wow! I don't I don't know his name, so I need choices. But that's I know who he from, is. I he was in Indiana from, Jones. Um, he was in The Goonies. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I'm singing. That would be. Uh, I don't know his name. I think he's making a comeback to acting. K. Hugh Kwan. I don't think it's Clyde. I don't think it's Clyde. I think it's K. Hugh Kwan too. I don't I know like this one. I feel like it's Hudson Yang. Oh, you clicked on it. Okay, so we knew who it was. We just didn't know his name. He was the guy in fucking which which movie? Which uh, Indiana Jones was it? Raiders. Temple, was it the first one. Uh, Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom. Yeah. It was Raiders of the Lost Ark, then Temple of Doom, then Last uh, Crusade. And he then also the, played Data in the Goonies. That's that's why I almost called him Data for uh, Indiana Jones. Oh, this one's easy. I don't fucking remember what her name is, but she's from the fucking Roseanne show. I think she's a lesbian. I but believe you might be right. I I need to see the choices because I can't remember her name. Sarah Gilbert. Yeah. Didn't even need to see the well, other one. You don't one. think don't it's know. Alyssa Milano? Close, but no. I, I knew she was going to be hot when she was nine. That's from, from Family Guy, folks. Yeah. Alyssa Milano. I knew you were going to be hot when you were. That's Ricky Martin. Can you name this 1980s teen pop star? You don't think it's Rockwell, though? Rockwell is black. <laughs> and Robbie Williams, I don't believe, was a child, uh, like a teen pop star. I don't think he was either. Oh, I forgot Ricky Martin was in Menudo. Yeah, we weren't, we didn't really, I don't think we knew who Menudo was until Ricky Martin became a solo guy. And well, then they I was said two, was I was listening to Menudo, baby. That would be um I, I know who what her name is. Kim Fields. I think it's Kim Fields. Yep. Who the fuck is Debbie? Yeah, Morgan? Considering I don't know who Debbie Cree Morgan or Cree Summer are. Hold on. I Cree Summer. Let me see who that is. She was in okay, a bunch of animations. She was in Rugrats. Oh, she played Susie in Rugrats. Who was the other one? Debbie oh, Morgan. With the D E B. E-B-B-I Morgan. She was an American film actress. I'll go figure. She was in uh, All My Children. Okay, hold on. I know this fucking face. It's a black and white kid with a fucking... Is it a boy or a girl? That's a girl. (laughs) That's not Molly Ringwald. That's too young. Fuck, I don't know. I know the face. It looks... Yeah, I need some choices. Oh, wow. It is Molly Ringwald. Yeah. I was right. 
Watch it be a fucking Ali Sheedy. At least they had like Molly another Breakfast Club person in there. So just to give you an update on the Yankees, we're losing 5-4, bottom of the seventh, two outs. Rizzo just got a single. Judge is coming up as a tying run. Jordan Lyle is still pitching. He's at 117 pitches. Wait, jo- Judge would be the go-ahead run? Yeah, Judge is currently the go-ahead run. 117 okay. pitches, and he's still in. Interesting. Uh, that's the coming. Christmas story, kid. You shoot it's your this- eye out, kid. It's not Scotty Schwartz, is it? The guy who did fucking porn? Scroll down. I don't know his name. Yeah. I don't know if that's Scotty Schwartz. I think it is. I know the answer. I'm going to tell you. Is it not? Because it's Scotty Schwartz was in a different children's movie. I think. I don't know. Peter Billingsley doesn't sound correct, but I don't know who Robert Robbie Rist is. Yeah, who is it? It's Peter Billingsley. Peter Billingsley. I wonder what movie Scotty Schwartz was in. Fucking Christmas story. I've, I've never heard of Scotty Schwartz. He went into porno, but I don't think he was like in porno. He had like the non-sex roles in porn after being a child actor. You don't like Christmas movies? No, they're just fucking I think like we've talked about that before. It's just, it's just not like Scrooge is the only one that's like good because that that has like a little bit of attitude to it. It's not like. Oh, I love my family. Christmas is great. Uh, snowing. Fuck you. I don't want to deal with that. I want to see Clark Griswold get fucking electrocuted. Uh, I know this face. I can't put a name to it. I know it's not Lark Voorhees. It's not Lark Voorhees. I think it's Tempest I don't know who the other two people are. Tempest Bledsoe was in something that we should know. I think it's her. Is I don't that know from the it, Crosby show? That sounds like it. Tempest, I, I'm gonna go with her, but it could be because I don't know who Sheree Johnson is. Yeah, we were right. It was the Cosby Show. I couldn't think of her name, but I knew exactly what show she was from. So Sheree, Sheree, what? Sheree Johnson. I don't know. Oh wait, was it Sheree Johnson? She was in Family Matters. She was fucking Laura's friend. It was Sheree Florida. Johnson. Yeah, this one's easy. She was also in Punky Brewster. Oh, that's fucking um. Oh my god. He's fucking, why can't, uh, Sean asked him. I was like, he was in 50 First Dates. And obviously the Goonie. Corey Haim and Justin Henry. Corey Haim's not a bad other name on there. I don't know who Justin Henry is, but Corey Haim's pretty good. They should have had Corey Feldman on there too, just to really fuck Corey him. Haim, Corey Feldman, and then fucking him. Justin Henry is an uh, uh, American actor and businessman. No, oh, he always in Kramer versus Kramer. Interesting. He was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor when he was eight. Pretty good. Didn't you mention the never ending story before? Uh I think so. I don't know who the fuck that yeah, is. I have no idea who the fuck this is. Should I scroll I down never, for the names? Because I've never seen Yeah, I've never seen face. the never ending story. Let's see. Oh, oh it's gotta be Noah Hathaway, right? Didn't you say Noah Hathaway is a never ending story? Oh yeah, because I don't know what a Barrett Oliver is, and that's definitely not Elijah Wood. So, <laughs> I know it's not Elijah Wood. By luck, we got this one right. Fucking nailed it. Who was the bitch we got wrong last time? Like Jennifer Jason Lee, and we chose somebody else. Or it was we chose her. And it was somebody else. Oh, well, that's easy. Fucking Winona Ryder. Why no forever? Why no no rider? Anna Taylor, Anya Taylor Joy, and who the fuck else? Yeah, I have no I idea. Who It's a two-one like, count to judge. Ooh, that's wow! I don't know the, his name. That's fucking um, the guy who does the uh fucking I can't. I've never seen Goonies, and I yet I know the, the truffle, truffle shuffle. Shuffle, yeah. He played Chunk. I have no idea what his real name is. Though. Yeah, me either. Scroll down. I'll have to. I bet you it's gonna it's, the, it's gonna be one dumbass possibility, isn't it? No, Tom actually, Scott, these are all. Oh, oh wow. no! It's Jeff Cohen. Jeff Cohen. Hundred percent. Jeff Cohen. How do you know that? Because I've seen those things where it's like, look, this guy all grown up, and it was Jeff Cohen. I just remember that name for some reason. Do the truffle shuffle. Do you think it was Tom Bosley? Tom, did you look? Why would Tom Bosley be on the train? I don't know the kid so, from The Shining. It was a 3-0 count to judge, and it was definitely ball four, but they called it strike one. Of course they did. I don't know the kid Johnson. from The Shining's name. 3-1 count down. to judge. They walked him. 
I don't think it's, it's definitely Dana not Dana Plato or, Plato Daniel, Day or Day Daniel Day Lewis. He was not a child in 1980. So we're gonna go Dan. That was awful. One's a woman and one is a grown ass man. Awful oh, job. God. Who did Daniel this? Daniel Day Lewis. Fucking god. Awful. Oh my god. That was amazing. Daniel Day Lewis in a 1980 <laughs> movie as a child. Daniel Day Lewis was born. I'm gonna say 56. He was born in 1957. So he would have so been. He was 23. Child. Jesus Christ! That is Alyssa Milano, cute as ever. Used to talk okay, to her all the time. These are actually decent other options. Those are good. Yeah, Alyssa Milano. We used to. I'm talk surprised to it wasn't like Tony Danza. I think we were on a first name basis. Her and uh, Mila Jovovich used to talk to me all the time. She called me pushy once because I kept incessantly tweeting her. She's like, "You're so pushy." It's like you damn right I am. I watch Alyssa Milano mm. all the time. Um, that would be fucking Doogie Howser. I'm charmed. So the guy pitching I... for the Orioles has a 9.82 ERA versus the Yankees and a 0.68 ERA against everybody else. Wow. Why am I drawing a blank on Neil Patrick Harris? Peter Billingsley again. Steven <laughs> Dorff. Dorf. Fucking Blade. I love Neil Patrick Harris. I don't Which think I've is. seen Doogie Howser in 25 years. No. At least. Not. That would be Corey Haim. Rest in peace. Okay, these are actually good choices, too. Fuck Kirk Cameron. Fuck that guy. I hope somebody yeah, shoves a Kirk Jesus Cameron. rod up his asshole. Oh, he died in 2010, Corey Haim? Jesus. That's insane. It doesn't feel like that long ago. No. Really? <laughs> we just went from Corey Haim to... Which Corey is this? Corey Feldman. Is Corey Matthews one of the choices, do you think? I hope it's Corey Feldman, Corey Heyman, Corey Matthews. I don't hey, know it, it's Hulk three Corys, Corey. though. <laughs> that is Corey three Corys. Parker. I don't know who Corey Parker is. Corey Parker is an American actor and acting coach, and that is all that it says. Awesome. Ooh. That's Emmanuel Lewis. Not to be confused it's... with Gary Coleman. Daniel Day? Todd Alex Karras, the old fucking white guy, and Taj Maori, who's way younger than Emmanuel Lewis. And Alex Karras is the fucking dad from Webster. Oh, my God. Is it Alex uh, Stanton Webster? struck out to end the inning. I don't we believe saw. it. That was the uh, the quote on uh, the final puzzle for Peter and not Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, when he got Q44. Is that Heather O'Rourke? Well, I know it's not Drew Barrymore. Heather O'Rourke died very young. She was in the Poltergeist movies. She died when she was 12. Sad. I think it was something to do with like an intestinal blockage. I said septic shock. Really? Wow. That's Can you name this dog instead of the yeah. actor? Who's the human in the photo, it says? As if we're not doing fucking child stars. He doesn't even look like a child there. That would be fucking He looks like he's Hawk. 17. Yeah, that's Ethan Hawke. Really? You don't think Michael it's Michael J. J. Fox, Fox? Ethan Hawke and Adam Ant. Fucking Adam Ant. Great name. Oh, he was 14? He oh. looked older than 14. Yeah, way older. I fucking love these quizzes. Who is this? Do you recognize? It's still showing me. Mm. Oh, um. Oh, my God. When you see the names, you'll know exactly who it is. She's really famous right now. Yeah. Oh my god, why can't I think of her name? She's on a bunch of shows. Oh, it's her last me off. name is like a fast food restaurant. Fucking Gail Wendy's. <laughs> Nailed it. Via oh, fucking Viola Davis. Oh, wait, is that Viola Davis? Oh, those these are really good choices. Regina King or Viola Davis? Oh my god, that's very close. I, Viola Davis looks a little bit different, I think. Who the fuck is Ruth E. Carter? All right, I'll, I'll go with you, Regina King. If this is Viola Davis, I'm going to stab you. Come on, I said her name was like a last name. Of a yeah, but that's name. close. Those They look very much alike. Who is Ruth E. Carter, by the way? Ruth E., not Ruth E. Probably some white blonde chick. Ruth E. Carter is a uh, American costume designer. That's lame. Who the fuck is this? Is that Anthony Michael Hall? I thought that, it was. That is. First. That's a horrendous picture. 
Well, it's not it's Judd not Nelson McCarthy. or Andrew McCarthy. Yeah, so that's wow. uh, that was that's of all the pictures they could have they chose that. The one where he looks. The oh, it most also said unlike. Also, it also said Brad Pack actor. So yeah, it's a fucking Brad Pack. Man, I wish I could go back to the eighties. She played the Ooh. title role in 85's Anne of the Green Gables. What? <laughs> who you don't know. Who, there's no way you know who this I is. I have no fucking clue. I've never even heard of the movie Anne of Green Gables. I legitimately don't even have like a, a thought. I don't think it's Megan Lawley. No, it's definitely not. <laughs> Megan Follows and Megan Hilty. Megan Follows just sounds like a made-up name. Yeah, let's go Megan Hilty and hope for the best. But if we get this one wrong, that's... It is oh! wrong. Who is Megan Follows? That just sounded fake. Oh, it's yeah, a miniseries? Fuck you. It's not even a movie. Bastards. It's bullshit. Right. It's that one that's really obscure. Um. Oh, my God. She was another Huxtable, right? I think so. Oh, gee, oh, it is, is Keisha Knight Pullman. Pulliam. Keisha Fucking Knight Huxtable. I feel like this is probably going to go at thirty. Wow! Look at those choices. I'm going to say it's Joey Lawrence without even seeing the picture. Yep. It's definitely not Ray Romano, Romano? As, a, as a child star, which I don't think he was acting as a child. So, like, you couldn't just put like Joey Matthew or Andrew Lawrence, like all three of them. Like, and number ben 30, Savage, maybe. Who? Um, Ooh. I fucking I thought she was so hot in the fucking Facts of Life for no reason. I can't remember her fucking actual name. Let me think about this for a second. Well, if I scroll name? down and you see the names, you're going to know exactly who it is because the other two choices ain't it. Yeah, I, I don't remember her name, but I know exactly who she is. <laughs> Nancy McKeon, there you go. So it's not Courtney Cox or Shannon Doherty? <laughs> no. Close, but no. She's also ugly, by the way, just throwing that out. No, there. she's fucking hot for like, an, for like the... Butch type of girl from the eighties. That would be fucking one. um. Oh my god. I don't. I can't recall his fucking name. He's don't let from, me down. Don't let me down. I cannot remember what his goddamn name is, but he's from fucking Facts of Life. Todd Bridges. Well, it, there you go. It's obviously Malcolm Jamal Warner. Come on, bro. At least they gave you three black child actors there. That's valid. That is very true. Let's see what else we got. 32. I wonder how many. Oh, fuck Kirk Cameron. It's going to go to 50. The other one went I don't, to 50. It went to 50? Yeah, it went to 50. I guess this is a birthday episode. We can hit two hours. Because this is the kind of content that I like. Leo DiCaprio, Jeremy Miller, and Kirk Cameron. Those are at least three people on Growing Pains. And one of them's... Only one of them's a douchebag, I think. Obviously, yeah. Jeremy Miller. Poor guy who's fucking done. I think he was addicted to fucking cough syrup, according to fucking Family Guy. <laughs> Could you buy me some Sudafed? Ooh, what the who is who the fuck is this? This is a fucking toddler. <laughs> I've never heard of Savannah Smiles. If anybody knows the movie Savannah Smiles, God bless you. How's your friend Todd? Last name Lurfondler. Okay, it's definitely not Bridget Moynihan or Bridget Fonda. Let's go for Bridget Anderson. And if that's okay, good. I was gonna say if that's Bridget Moynihan as a fucking three year old. Oh, she died in nineteen ninety seven at age twenty one. That's sad. Uh, I don't think she was smiling anymore. Savannah Sapana. smiles honestly sounds like a porn. Oh, this is that, easy. That's Tracy Gold. That one I remember. Really, Joanna? Kern. They're, you're gonna show Joanna me the mom. Kern. So the they mom show they show the mom things. and then like the very little girl, Ashley Johnson. Fuck Jesus. Guy. So far, we've only gotten guys. All right, let's. I saw that's uh, Brooke Shields, right? It has to be Brooke Shields. Yeah. You know, Brooke Shields did like, I don't know if it was like a photo shoot or like a movie, but she's there are pictures of her naked when she was like twelve on the internet. It's fucking that's gross awful. that like her parents let her do that or some shit. Like, I don't remember what exactly they were doing, but like, 
there are pictures of her naked as a child. Like it's fucking disgusting. That's insane. Like, why are you letting your kid that. do that? That's terrible. As this next one starts coming up, it's the bottom of the eighth inning for the Yankees. Cole went eight innings. Unbelievable. Eight innings, seven hits, five runs, 11 strikeouts. Five runs. You can't be giving up five runs to the Orioles. Um, I don't know who the fuck this is. That Give me two like options it. of who in hell we know it's not. Ooh, it's not. Okay. It has to be Lucas. There's That's definitely not River Phoenix. And it's I definitely not Christian Bale. There's no way that's Christian Bale. Actually... There's, I don't think he was a child actor. I don't think he was either. Let's go Lucas Oz. Yeah. He was eight when the Harrison Ford crime drama was released in 1985. I didn't even hear that movie. Witness? I don't even know what that is. All right. So some of these we've had to go to the uh, to the board. But I didn't. That would be... Uh, oh, she was in fucking... Um, she's one of the Audrey Griswolds. I think European Vacation. I can't remember I can't what her name, her name is. Though. She's also dead. Maybe it's Dana something? Oh, it might be Dana. But she's dead. I know that. It's not Dana Plato. No, it's Dana something, I think. Scroll down, fuckwad. Of course, Dana oh, Plato my. has to be one of the options. I don't know if it's Baron or Hill. Fuck! Dana Baron, Dana Hill. God damn it, we're going to get this one wrong. I lean, I, towards, I lean towards Baron, but Dana Hill sounds like it could be right, too. You're thinking Baron as in Corbin. Just know that. All right, then you want to go Dana Hill? No, I think it might be Dana Barron, too, actually. Dana Barron? I don't... I honestly don't know. I knew her name was Dana. I get points for that. I said Dana Plato, and I knew that was wrong, but... Dana Hill or Dana Barron? Uh, fuck. You want to choose Barron? I feel like we should go Hill. Barron sounds like... I would have remembered that if her name was Barron. Okay, so let's go Hill. I'm doing it. There yes! Go. Let's go. She died at the age of 32. That's sad. That's very sad. She can be sad. There's already one out in the eighth inning. We suck. That's Dana Plato. You sure it's not Danica McKellar? Or Dana Delaney? I know it's not Dana Delaney. I don't know who that is. Yes, Dana Plato. She died in 1999 at the age of 30. Everybody's dying. It's so sad. She had a fucked up life after that show. How have they not had Jaleel White on here? What if he's next? Do you imagine if he was fucking next? Oh, it's the kid from ET. I don't, I don't know the ET's name. Like, who's that? Like, I've ET? seen his audition tape where he was like brilliant. He got the part on the spot. I think his name's like fucking Henry Thomas or something. <laughs> because it's not Ethan Hawke or Christian Bale. <laughs> They've been going to Christian Bale a lot. Was he a child actor that we're just not aware of? I don't think so. Christian Bale. Who is, is this? Hold on, I have to look up fucking Christian Bale. Oh, he uh well, his first acting role was in eighty six and he was born in seventy four, so yeah, technically. But not like a that's the chick who played Annie. Yep. There's two outs in Anthony now because we suck. We lost. So uh yeah, I don't know her name. Three in a row. Oh wow. Yeah, literally no clue. Eileen Quinn doesn't sound correct, but Alicia Morton sounds worse. Andrea, Andrea McCardle? McCardle? Yeah, I literally... Should we just go Andrew McCardle? Because I have no idea. Eileen Quinn? Yeah, I get. I literally have no idea what her name is. Not quite to try another... Aww. Eileen Quinn. God damn it! Yeah, that's a little... Although it was 1982 when Andy came out. Although that picture looked like it was from the 50s. Don't worry. One pitch, Hicks, fly out, inning over, go into the ninth. And we're going to have the bottom of the order in the bottom of the ninth. Yeah, I don't know who this is either. Ooh, wow. It's not Jody Sweeten. It's not Stephanie Tanner. Go Natalie Gregory, because I don't know what... Stop scrolling up! I don't know what a Jane Meadows is either. So, it's one of those... Yeah? There we go. We got it. Say, who's this one-time Oscar nominee? What the 
fuck. He's like four. <laughs> who, who the fuck are you? Do you think Christian Bale is one of the options? I hope so, because that could eliminate that instantly. <laughs> Gee. Yeah, could I go Justin Henry? Unless, wait, no. What if that's Brad Pitt? There's no way it's Brad Pitt. It's the 80s. But an Child Oscar in the 80s. Oh, 80s? That's true. Where's Child if, if Brad Pitt was a child star of the wait, 80s. Was Justin Henry? No, we already did the kid in Kramer versus Kramer. He got nominated for a fucking award. Well, we know it's not Mark Wahlberg. If it's a Click. child star of the 80s, it can't be Brad Pitt. Click it's got to be this Justin Henry, right? Yeah. Justin Henry was eight year olds ask oh, Oscar Kramer Kramer versus Kramer. Oh, Wait, uh, wait, what? Didn't we just do that, kid? No, I think he was an option in another question. Uh oh. And he said it was from Kramer. It's like, versus I know Kramer. I just talked about Kramer versus Kramer. Oh my god, this is so much harder than I was expecting because I don't know who the right. fuck this is either. Wow. Yeah. I don't know who Inga Swenson, Billy Bird, or Missy Gold is. I think uh, I just go Missy Gold because it's a cool name. Yeah, I don't know who any of these people are. Nice. Yeah. Oh, she's the sister of Tracy Gold. Okay. Huh. I've never heard of Benson, but it was on for seven years. Oh, the Benson was a butler, I believe. Or That's like a Mr. Belvedere. No, it was or oh Benson was uh was that Robert Guillermo? Or he was I mean hold on. Benson Butler Benson Dubois. Excuse me? Yeah. What was that? Robert uh Guillermo Guame or whatever the fuck you say his name. He died in twenty seventeen. You'd recognize him. Yeah, Benson was a fucking butler. No, I have never in my life. This is the smartest member of the widowed uh, Governor Eugene Gatling's household staff. Interesting. Yeah, I remember Benson. Is that Michael is, J. Fox? A why really is Jerry weird... the King Waller on the TV? It's King's Court with Veer. That's terrible. Is that Michael J. Fox and a really weird picture of him? No, it is not. Is that Christian Bale? Is That's that Christian, Christian Bale? Bale. Finally, we got Christian Bale. <laughs> How time. He was 13 when his first major film, Empire of the Sun, released in 1987. Guess who's pitching for the Yankees currently in the ninth inning? Down one. Chapman? Wandy Peralta. Oh, boy. So we Chapman finally come... likely going on the injured list. Good. We finally come back to earth. Sad. Um, my face looks familiar. Bucktooth but... Mary? I have no idea. Oh, that's Shannon Doherty. No. Yeah. That has to be that's Shannon That's a really Doherty. young Shannon Doherty. Yeah, very young. I don't think that's Melissa, or who's the third option? Yeah, I don't think Melissa that's Melissa Gilbert. Gilbert from Little House on the Prairie. I that think it's Shannon Shannon Doherty. Doherty. I think it is. I didn't know Shannon Doherty started on Little House on the Prairie, though. Does it say? Oh, then it's Melissa Gilbert. Because I don't think Shannon Doherty was on Little House on the Prairie. Oh, well, she, she was. On, she you was. fucking dick. Well, Damn. I said I didn't think she was. Yeah, why'd you say that? I knew it was Shannon Doherty. Fuck. Not my history wow. teacher, Shannon Doherty. Interesting. Impressive. Really? Come on. Jody man. Sweeten. That is a cute picture. Okay, at least they went with three people on Full House, so I'll give them that. Ray Mysterio and Veer. Awesome. It's the feud we never knew we didn't want to have. We're coming to the end, folks. I think this is 47. Just says, who is this? That would be Danica this McKellar. Ali Mills and Olivia Diabu. Diabo. From fucking um SV not SV fucking CI. And he's order, to wear Mysterio again. Law and Order SV, fuck you. This child actor became a successful musician. Oh my god, he just fucked up throwing Ray Mysterio over the ropes. He tried press slamming him into the ring from the outside and he missed. Yeah, I need to see options for this. I don't know who the fuck this is. Oh, boy. Cara Diaguardi was from fucking American Idol. That's the only person who I know. I know Jenny Lewis became a singer, but I don't know that's Jenny Lewis. I don't know what Jenny Lewis looks like. Who the fuck is Jenny Lewis? I think she was a singer. You just said you knew who she was. But I don't know what she looks like. like scroll up. Cara Diaguardi is like... is a. I literally have no idea. The only one I've ever heard of is fucking... But that doesn't really look like her. She was on American Idol. 
That's the only like one what, I've 20 ever heard years of. later? Yeah. Just pick that because I have no idea. Charity Aguardi? Yeah. I don't know who Jenny Lewis is. That was Jenny Lewis. Jenny Lewis starred opposite Fred Savage in The Wizard. Yeah, no, sorry. And the rock band, somebody, Rilo Kylie. Yeah, sorry. No fucking idea. No, well, it won't be a one run game when we go to the bottom of the ninth. First and third, fuck? nobody out. Who the fuck is this kid? Who the fuck are you? This is a lot. These are a lot less fucking like popular people than I would thought. It's not Jason I don't think it's Bateman. Jason Bateman. It? Bryce Beckham or Benji Gregory? Those are some great names. I'm going to let you pick on this one. Let's go Benji Gregory. What do you think? I'm sure that's probably wrong, but. Oh, we got 92%. That's pretty good. Yeah, we got what, 47 to 50, I think? 46 to 50. 46 to 50. A few of them we had to guess, but that was uh, that was good. And that uh, that will take us right into fucking on this day. We changed the banner, though. That was on intense. this day. Doesn't that take us into this week's unusual death? You don't even know the whole... Oh, yeah. Are you dick? I started to get sick of the unusual deaths because last week we chose like three that we had already done. You dick. See if they have any more from 1986. 80... Fuck, that's right. They don't have any from 1986. How about 1990? Have we done Daniel John O'Brien? Daniel Bryan? Daniel John O'Brien. January 14th, 1990. Daniel John O'Brien, 31, committed suicide by jumping into one of the engines of a British Airways Boeing 747 at uh, Perico International Airport in Trinidad. While naked, he scaled two fences with barbed wire on top. Oh, that's going to rip off a test. Caught no? four, caught, uh, fought off four security guards. Man, you should lose your job. And commandeered a four-wheel drive vehicle, which he drove into the jet setting, uh, jet sitting on the runway while uh, with its engines running. So he fucking drove into the engine. How do you so, fucking fight off four security guards? You need to lose your job if you're that security guard. So... Now here's I have a couple questions. Obviously, do research. He scaled the fence while naked, so that's going to be painful. Was he like greased up and oily, and that's why they couldn't catch him? Was he like the greased up deaf guy? Yeah, they're going to get me. And then he commandeered a fucking four wheel drive truck and drove it straight into the jet. That's... So he he committed suicide while naked. Was he high on something? Like I have so many questions. Fucking Daniel John DJ O'Brien. I have so many questions. So and he was in Trinidad, so was, I wonder if he's a uh, if it was a British Airways. So yeah, it'll be good research. I won't remember it uh, thirty <laughs> seconds from now. Bit. Can't wait to be reminded of it next week. All right, so I'll give you birthdays today and tomorrow. Deaths today, tomorrow, then events today. Tomorrow, on today. this day, May twenty third slash May twenty fourth. So on May twenty third, we have. Drew Carey. You mentioned Prices Right before. He was born on May twenty third. On this day, I mentioned turns- the Prices Right. You did. Uh, staying home from school, drinking ginger, oh, yeah. and watching The Price is Right. Fucking He's uh, Bob Barker. 64. Damn. Former WWE wrestler, Wyndham Rotunda, a.k.a. Bray Wyatt, a.k.a. Husky Harris, turns 35 today. I feel like Roman is also born very close to me. I think he's the 25th. I think his birthday is Wednesday. Roman, Roman Reigns is born, yep, day after me, Wednesday. Well, that just got to run in while the fans do the wave. I hate people. Let's see. Deaths on. Well, we know one big one. Yeah, we're going to save that one for the events that happen on this day. That's but, a, it has uh, to be a, that has to be a death, though. A death event. Well, he so died. On this day in 1934, Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow. Uh, mm. Died in a shootout with police during an ambush. The aforementioned Bonnie and Clyde passed away on this day in 1934. On this day in 1999, uh, during the WWF Over the Edge pay per view, Owen Hart tragically fell to his death. Yeah, it was weird going to school the next day. Awful. 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 So, some events that happened on this day. 
other than Owen Hart dying. In 1995, Mariano Rivera made his major league debut for the New York Yankees as a starting pitcher against the California Angels, going three and a third innings and allowing five runs. They just showed a game, I think it was for Mo against the White Sox and Yankees Classic, and I couldn't figure out what the fuck the game was for and why they I were showing it. I think it was his first major league win. Such an obscure fucking game to show. But now I have a question for you. So we lost that game against the California Angels. California Angels, 10 nothing. Wow. Close game. Guess. This is 1995. Can you name our starting lineup at all? I didn't even watch baseball back then. I know fucking Laris was probably on the team. Jim Larich was batting third, playing like, first base. Third base. Is Mike Stanley still on the team? Mike Stanley was catching. I don't know. Bernie Williams, I'm sure, was in the lineup. Paul Leading was in the off lineup. Like center field, Bernie Williams. Leading off. Wow. By 95, he should have been. By 96, he was in the middle of the lineup. That's weird. Paul O'Neill batting third. On the bench. What the fuck are you doing, Paul? Facing a lefty. Benched against the lefty. Talk to you didn't want to play him. Oh, fucking Mattingly. Don Mattingly also on the bench against the lefty. Did we just fucking. I mean, it's Don Mattingly was. Fucking good hitter. Fucking play him, Buck. Jesus, I don't know anybody else. Mariano Duncan? Not on the team yet. Fucking um, fucking Alvaro Espinosa, your guy? <laughs> he was not in the line. <laughs> Listen to this line. Was he not on the was he on the team? I think he was off the team. I think he might have been on the Indians at that point. I don't know a lot of people on this fucking team. Girardi wasn't there yet. Nope. Who the fuck? Uh, Ruben Sierra? Nope. There's a couple. Ruben There's... Sierra was on that team. I'm just looking at the starting lineup. How is he not? There was nobody on the fucking lineup. They all left-handed. Who was pitching for the Angels? Fucking Nolan Ryan left-handed? Well, let's what put it this way. This? The guy that pitched for the Angels, Chuck Finley, nine innings, two hits, two walks, 15 strikeouts. Jesus Christ. He's he basically a was. I don't know who that is. Chuck Finley sounds familiar, but as a lefty? Weird. If you saw him, you'd recognize well, how many Guess how many pitches Chuck Finley threw in that game with nine innings, two hits, no runs, 15 Ks in a meaningless game in May. 87. 144. Jesus. 140. They just let you fucking go. <laughs> My God. Jesus wow. Christ. Listen to this lineup for the Yankees. And we were good that year. Yeah, we were. So Bernie Williams playing center field, Randy Velarde batting second, oh, that Jim Lyrits batting third, Mike Stanley fourth, Danny Tartable cleaning up. That's I'm sorry, Danny Tartable playing DH batting fifth, Gerald Williams batting sixth playing right field. Uh, rest in, isn't he dead? Yeah, he is. He died of a heart attack, I think. Oh, uh, cancer. Russ Davis batting seventh. I don't even know who that is. We traded him to the Mariners for Tino Martinez. Uh, Kevin Elster batting eighth and Pat Kelly batting ninth. Damn. He's out of cancer. Listen to who was in the oh cancer. That sucks. I thought it was a heart attack. The Angels lineup. Tony was, Phillips. Was Tim Salmon still on that team? Jim Edmonds batted second. Tim Jim Salmon Edmonds third. And Tim Sam, yeah. Chili like, Davis. JT Snow. JT Snow? JT Snow was an wow. angel. Uh Greg Myers was the catcher. No idea who that is. Eduardo Perez playing third base. Fucking awful announcer. Damian Easley playing second base and Gary DeSarcina shortstop. I remember these names. Like it's such a throwback. Well, now I need to see the Yankees roster before I continue on to what happened on May 24th. I need to actually see the Yankees roster. Well, you know, so some we, of the ones by default, like Mattingly and fucking O'Neill just weren't playing. Yeah. Neither was Wade fucking Boggs. We oh, benched yeah. every lefty. Maybe we shouldn't. We lost 10 nothing. <laughs> we benched every lefty. Oh God, was Luis Polonia. Home? Also, we benched Luis Polonia too. He was also a lefty. Was this in uh, California? It was in California. We also We're had Dion hit. James. We're gonna hit two hours. Daryl so Strawberry. Fucking... Oh, I forgot Straw. Robert Einhorn. Ruben Rivera played five games. Ruben Rivera was on the. Finkel is Einhorn though. <laughs> Einhorn Jorge Posada Finkel. played one game. Fuck that guy. Some guy named Derek Jeter played fifteen. Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter. Batted 250. Our starting rotation. This was our starting fucking rotation. Let me see. I don't know a lot about 95. Jimmy Key was on there, I think. Nope. Jimmy Key wasn't there yet? 
He only he was injured. He only pitched five games. Oh, at least he was on the team. David Cohn. David Cohn was our number four starter. Wow. Who the fuck was our ace? Who was the guy that came into game five of the fucking ALCS? This guy. Griffey coming around. That that jackass that gave the fans the finger. That probably saved the baseball in Seattle. If they had lost that series, they might have fucking moved. Or I think it also gave us the Yankees dynasty because had we not lost that game, Buckshaw Walter would have still been the manager. You think so? We like, heard those stories when when Steinbrenner got rid of Showalter and he hired Tory. The backlash from the media and fans. Oh yeah, everyone so thought it was like well because Joe Torre wasn't a really good manager at all. Steinbrenner like flew to Buck Showalter's house and was like, "I want to bring oh, you he, back." Yeah, I heard, that. but he had already accepted a position somewhere. I the think. Diamondbacks for when they became an expansion team, and he was like, "What about Joe Torre?" Showalter's like, "I'll make him the GM." <laughs> I mean, I don't know if Joe Torre was actually that great of a manager or if we just had, he was just great for those teams. But like, he was mediocre at most. It's very weird that you would fucking fire. Buck Schulter's always been a good manager, too. But it worked. Cards. So, so our starting rotation was Jack McDowell. That guy. Yeah. He came in at the fu- fucking starter comes in at the end of the game. Andy Pettit. Oh, how the fuck do I not remember Andy? Sterling Hitchcock. That fucking idiot. David Cohn. We traded for David Cohn midway through the season. Fucking great trade. Because he only started 13 games. I don't we know what we 92. gave up, but it was a fucking great trade. Uh, Scott Kamenicki started 16 games. Melito Perez started 12 games. Mariano Rivera started 10 games. Baseball was fucking weird back then. Our bullpen was something called a Bob McDonald. <sighs> Steve Howe. Bob Wickman. I don't know any of these guys. John Wetland. Of course, I mean, I know John. Joe Wasn't he a Asanio. fucking child rapist? Yeah, Excuse he is. me? Joe Asanio. We Who have are these? Bo Ringer. Scott Bankhead. Dave <laughs> Island pitched 10 innings for us. Oh, I remember fucking former pitching coach. Rick Honeycutt threw one inning. Like, this is just that insane guy. to me. That's insane to me. Lead off walk in the ninth inning for Esteban Florian. I just turned the game back, huh? All right, so on May 24th, yeah, May 24th, some birthdays. My, my least favorite day of the year. You share birthdays with some like famous people. Obviously, your birthday, you're turning 36. I Happy share birthday. birthday with Ryan Falcone from Twitter and literally three other people I work with have the same birthday. Is that real? Really? Three other people. And you don't work for a big company either. Like, it's not huge. There are 100 people, about 100, but we were with corporate. And they're, I think, the other three people. One's in visual, and the other two are in corporate. Yeah, fucking four people with the same birthday in the same office. Bob Dylan turns 81 tomorrow. Oh, that's right. Bobby D. John C. Riley turns 57. Yeah. And big, sexy Bartolo Colon turns 49. Pretty good day. I'll take that fucking quartet. 49, because he's really probably like 53. You used that joke in the group chat. I did. I mean, because how is, is he really 49? Like, at this point, he should just be honest with his age. He's like, yeah, I'm really 57. He's the same age as fucking... um. Who was a stupid fucking kid from Little League like 20 years ago? This oh, my God. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's not like Armando or some, it's some shit like that. It wasn't oh Danny God. Almonte. Was it Danny Almonte? That him. I think that was him. I think that's him. Danny Almonte. Danny Almonte? Fucking was like ginormous. <laughs> and he was fucking playing like Little League. He he was born in 87. Oh, threw right, up to 79 miles. On, on this day or on tomorrow's day. Uh, Nicholas Copernicus was the age of 70. Oh, fuck you, night. DJ. God damn it. Was that double play? Oh, Almost. Double play. You're breaking new ground there, Copernicus. What was he, a fucking astronomer or something? He was an astronomer, but also a math- mathematician and a physician. Easy for you to say. On this day in 1984, Vincent James McMahon, a.k.a. Died. Vince McMahon Sr., died as a result of pancreatic cancer in Fort Lauderdale, Florida at the age of 69. I wonder if Vince hates me. That's true. And we actually talked about this before, but uh, on this day in 1989, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, directed by Steven Spielberg and produced by George Lucas, premiered. May 24th is a pretty good day for most other people. Not for you, though. I want to hear. Well, give me some more events. The, the uh, new stage is. Je- wow, Jesse McCartney has a show tomorrow in Asbury Park. Want to go? Kind of. One of oh, the Peloton rides I did today had a Jesse McCartney song. Well, Lana Glazer is 
in Hamden tomorrow at the Space Ballroom. Why would, would you want to be on? in Hamden? Why not? I don't Samuel know Morse if... in uh, 1844 tapped out what hath God wrought in the world's first telegraph message. Yeah, first telegraph message on my birthday. Let's go. The, uh, first Major League Baseball night game in Cincinnati happened in this day in 1935. So the first Major League game at night happened in Cincinnati or the first night game for the Reds happened? No, oh, it says first Major League night baseball game in Cincinnati. So uh, that, that feels, wait, in 84? 35. 1935? 1935. Oh, I was going to say 84 seems like very late to have your first night game. <laughs> In Cincinnati, of all places. Yeah, it's weird to me. I'm very curious about that now. In 1883, the Brooklyn Bridge opened. I don't know if really? you had that one. I did not have that one. I just typed in historical events. I'm just going to pick random ones. Oh, on this day in 1988, Section 28 passed as law by Parliament in the United Kingdom prohibiting the promotion of homosexuality. Dicks. Yeah, fuck you. 1928, record 12 future Hall of Famers take the field as the Yankees beat the A's 9-7. to Ooh. Sports history. Yankees <laughs> legend Babe Ruth homers in both games of a doubleheader. Gives him nine home runs in one week. Jesus. That's a pretty good week for him. Fucking pretty good week. Babe Ruth. I think he was pretty good. Uh, he was decent. Mid- <laughs> The Dean Martin Show last aired on NBC on this day in 1974. 1964, the Beatles' fourth appearance on the Ed Sullivan Show. Oh, that also featured an interview and pre-recorded performance of You Can't Do That. I can't do that? Sports no. history, 1964, longest home run in Baltimore Memorial Stadium, Harmon Killebrew from the Twins. What was it, 471 feet or something? Almost, yeah, actually, exactly that. How did you fucking know that? <laughs> I just Mickey. guessed. Mick Jagger and Marianne Faithful arrested for drug possession in England. Oh, great song. 1969, Sugar Sugar, released by the Archies. That was 1969? I feel like that was earlier. Peter Green quits Fleetwood Mac to join Religious Cult, 1970. (laughs) Wow. That's an interesting one. I don't know he joined a religious cult. Oh, this this, uh, finale of the Dean Martin Show in 1974. David Bowie's uh, Diamond Dogs album released. Muhammad Ali TKO's Richard Dunn in five. Uh, Billy Martin issues a public apology to Reno sports writer Ray Hager. I don't know what he said. 1979. Oh, 1980, Rock Lobster by B-52 hits number 56. Okay, that's a little obscure. Rock Lobster. Rock Lobster hits number 56. 56. Why even put that on there? Stanley uh, climbed to the charts at 37. That's fucking weird. Margaret well, Thatcher becomes first British prime minister to visit Israel. Margaret Thatcher naked on a cold day. Uh, power outage in the Boston Garden in the NHL Stanley Cup Finals in 1988. NHL's New York Rangers fired GM and coach Phil Esposito. Fuck you guys. Ooh, Weird Al Yankovic, record- Yankovic records three tracks for his UHF soundtrack. What? He just recorded tracks that year on May 24th. How do you know that? If you want to get really, really aggravated right now. Oh, God. Ball game over, Michael. What a pathetic job. Now we're just, are we just in a slump or are we just bad? We're mid. We're mid. We're too good of a team. I think we're just in a slump, but that's that's atrocious. That's That's three in a row and four or five that we've lost. It's pretty embarrassing. And do her better be in the lineup tomorrow. But I will just let you know this. So Tampa Bay just beat the Panthers to win the series four games to none. Jesus, they are insane. They are on like an Islanders type run. Griff tweeted two minutes ago, this should have been Toronto. Idiot. And also the Celtics are, of course, destroying the heat because nothing makes sense in the NBA. Isn't Marcus Smart out too? I don't, I, I don't understand the NBA, but uh, it's insane. Tampa, I swear to God, if the Rangers advance and Tampa doesn't go back to the finals, I'm murdering somebody. St. Louis is beating to, right? Colorado one nothing, And they fucking, I think Vasilevsky is just getting hot now. So I don't care if they three-peat as long as the Rangers don't win. That's right, because they have one two in a row. I forgot that. They're sort, I mean, it's, it's a legit three-peat, but like one was COVID and one was shortened season. 
1997 on May 24th, actor Timothy Allen Dick arrested for drunk driving in Michigan. Fuck you, Tim. Dick? What a dickhead. Fucking guy. What else? Paul McCartney performs his first ever concert in Russia. Not looking good now. 2004, North Korea bans mobile phones. <laughs> Fucking dicks. 2018, Morgan Freeman accused of sexual harassment. I don't even remember that at all. 2018, President Donald Trump cancels the summit with North and South Korea because of hostile statements from North Korea. President, uh, fuck you, Trump. That's enough. Well, if you want to laugh at this one. So remember when Joe Kelly picked off Aaron Hicks at second base last night? Yeah. Joe Kelly yelled, that a baby, Aaron. What the fuck are you doing at Hicks after it happened? <laughs> wow. Joe that kind of makes me really love Aaron. I mean, love Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly's got some balls. He just sort of says whatever the fuck he says. And again, again, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the podcast to leave a comment. Every fucking week. Every goddamn week. Maybe you should update the banner like you do for episode 29 to have it in the banner so you actually read it. Fucking idiot. Like, I, every time I forget. If you've listened this far, thanks. I'm going to uh, upload this tomorrow. Um, yeah, two hours. This is a special birthday edition, so we went a little overboard. But, uh. Yeah, like, comment, suggestions, anything. Just interact with us for fuck's sake. That's all I care Please. about. Just interact. We need some, like Randy sends us these brackets. What would we be doing with, without these brackets? That kills a good chunk of time. So thank you, Randy, number one fan. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Happy birthday, sir. Thanks. Well, uh, see how many t- people tweet me. If you're, if you're listening to this, uh, what's a what's a good insult? Say happy birthday, fuckface. If you if you heard this, happy, happy birthday, birthday fuckface. Fuck Hashtag this that rant. Episode twenty eight, May twenty fourth. That's a pretty long hashtag. I bet I went over the character limit. Yeah, I think you did. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.